then they can't see you. Yeah. I don't know what our accounts have you do that. Turn the volume now. Straighten it out. Stupid ass travel lock. Clean throw red light. What's up, y'all? Hey, guys. What's up, bro? Well, we got people talking. You know, it says we got nobody in here. Yeah. Love from England. What's, what's up, up, my England? guy? What's up? What's up, y'all? About to go get some iced coffee, man. And it's mm -hmm. gloomy out here. It's a gloomy day in New Orleans, y'all. Hey, Nate. Seems hey, like it's it been raining forever and ever out here. I swear. What's up, David? Texas. What's up, we got Texas? Toronto. What's up, everybody? Indiana. Dallas. Right. Hey y'all. What's up, Dallas? Man, I think I was supposed to go to Clearview. You are. <laughs> Alabama. What's up, guys? What's up, Alabama? What's everybody up to today? Y'all seen that fight last night or what? That's what I want to know. Did y'all see that fight last night? Ooh, that was serious. That was some good fights last night. What's up, Texas? Tampa. Hey, Miss Gina. What's up, Tampa? Kansas City, South Carolina. All right, we got a little bit of everybody in the house today. Sunday fun day. That's it. Boy snapped his ankle. <laughs> Clean, bro. That's not funny. I'm still not on laughing. the ground, bro. Talking about that's why your wife was in my DMs. I was like, oh man, no, bro. Connor's leg went full pool noodle. <laughs> oh y'all wrong, bro. That is not funny. Y'all gonna stop making me laugh at that boy's ankle. Boy, they said he tried to do the Cajun two step, bro. Your wife is in my DMs. Oh, uh, bro, why? With a broken leg and all that, broken ankle, whatever that was broke. What's up, Texas? Man, bro, that, that, that was thrown off, man. Oh, watch the England versus Italy game today. England okay. lost. Italy's been on fire. Oh, yeah. Such a disappointing ending to the main event, but all the other fights were great. They were. What about your boy? Uh, I don't know his name. That one with the green hair, bro. He took a beating, bro. He took a good old beating. Yeah, you got the uh, thing on? Yeah, I do. Uh, okay. It's on. Hey, guys from Alabama. Where you What's guys up, going? Alabama? We're going to get some iced coffee and maybe we'll hit to the lake real quick or something. I don't know. What's up, Algiers? What's up, Algiers in the house? <laughs> he was a zombie. <laughs> Man, that was something crazy, bro. I couldn't believe that. But I couldn't help but to laugh when he said your wife was in my DMs. I was like, oh, no. I don't believe that. What about, uh, now you don't know that, bro. She might be. I don't believe she was. I know you don't believe it. <laughs> don't nobody believe it. And then, even if they did have the proof, bro, if he popped out the proof on it, they'd be like, oh, that's Photoshop right there. What's up, Gretna? What's up, Gretna? What's up, y'all? Ralph, it might be a bit out your ballpark, but you should do a tattoo tour video where you talk about your ink. Yeah, I, I'm done with that. I, I definitely got enough to do a video on it. What's up, guys? So yeah, man. That'd be my luck, bro. Except it'd be real, bro. I'd be up there, bro. That'd be me enjoying my victory. And then dude pulls out his messages, bro. With all Sarah's naked pictures and all. And she's like, that ain't me. That's Photoshop. Did it really be her? That'd be me, bro. That's how. I, that's my luck right there. So then I came and enjoyed my Wait, victory. Wait, so you say if it was us? Like, if you was fighting him, I'd be really in his DMs? Oh, yeah. I guarantee it. You ain't even right. I swear. I you ain't guarantee right. it. You ain't right. I'd be a fool to believe anything different. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, they said, what is Chamoy? Uh, man, Chamoy, y'all, like the best way I could tell you is like uh, like a melted fruit roll up, but a little. Not real spicy, but a little spice. Mm -hmm. Sweet. It's really good. We got all the different candies on the websites. People's really been buying them. And we got chamoy on there. You put that on your, you know, your beverages and all that. It's good. The rim paste. You can put it on like yeah. I like to put them on my white claws, but you can put them on. It doesn't have to be alcohol. Like it you put it on anything. fruit. Mm -hmm. you, you, you just put it on your fruit, watermelon, pineapples, anything. It's really freaking good. Um, what's good for yeah. Baton Rouge? What's up, be all in the house. Does your wife ever do any cooking? If so, what's her best dish? She does do some cooking. She mm -hmm. makes that, that Italian plate. Uh. I don't know the name. I think it's Rosalini or something. I don't know the name of it, y'all, but that is probably one of her best dishes. Some Italian food. I made some good roast yesterday. She made a good roast yesterday. She did do that. 
She, she stepping the game up a little bit. I've been teaching and her a little I bit. And I made your chest squares or ooey gooey cake. I that whole pan's still squares. sitting there minus one slice. So I can't confirm or deny how that turned out. I'm just going to put it out there, okay? It's plain and simple. Craft dinner. <laughs> <laughs> for real. I like craft macaroni and cheese. That's y'all. right. You know it. it. Y'all know what it is? No chicken for Sarah. No, not less medium rare. What's up, Dennis Rings? What's up, Gerald? Oh, Gerald, so um, the post office was closed today. Oh, Lord. Young oh, man. Lord. Don't, please don't hit that kid. Um, so I'm going tomorrow, but I have to go to the post office to go bring uh, for orders anyways. And uh, Shirley's putting in the comments, guys, for the website. If any of you guys want to go check out That's your more, the baby. stuff that Ralph has on the site. Nate said rare chicken and box mac and cheese, Sarah. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. What's up, Connecticut? Much love to Ralph. Oh, Can I get two man. large vanilla ice coffees? I wish we was rich enough yes, to please. send out free spices. That's it. Thank you. I'm gonna so, go yeah. finish changing my brake pads. All right, Emmanuel. No, that's right, man. Better make sure you put them on right. Um, I'm trying to catch up with some comments. Show us how to make ooey gooey. I think you do have the ooey gooey I cake on did. there. I thought I did. I'm about to verify that, but I thought I did have that recipe up there, but I'm, I might need to check that. Huh? What's up, Scotland? Scotland, what's um, up? What's up? Y'all are awesome. Keep up the great videos. Uh, we appreciate it, y'all. Quit playing on my best friend Ralph. Only cooks for videos. <laughs> Shit. If I only cook for videos, that's still every single day of the week. Oh, God, that's funny. Brooklyn, New York, short and simple. What's up, Brooklyn? He tries to keep it as short and easy as possible. Some things are a little bit more detailed, but it's still pretty easy. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm about time tonight. YouTube playing on me, bro. I got y'all ain't gonna believe this, bro. Yeah, 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 you know what, y'all? Y'all gonna feel my pain when I tell y'all this, bro. <laughs> y'all gonna really feel my pain on why I gotta make a little bit longer videos because I'm gonna tell y'all why. Y'all know how it is, bro. You go to the store, everything's expensive. But I do love to cook. But if I could at least like cover the expense, that'd be nice. You know what I'm saying? Like that'd be nice. And long story short. One minute video, which is a short, got 1.1 million views. Matter of fact, it was on the griddle. Something I did on the griddle. It was a hibachi on the griddle. Got 1.1 million views on that one. I want y'all to say in the comments, how much you think I got paid from YouTube, from ad revenue, on 1.1 million views, bro? Go ahead. Let, let me see what y'all think, man. Feel, help, help brother out. Let me see what, let me see what y'all think. Are you in a Tesla? Hell yeah. No, I'm playing. I'm in a Chrysler. Twenty dollars, hundred dollars, seventeen. Damn, not Might enough. Not Twenty-five. True. Is that probably nothing? <laughs> right. Oh three twenty-four. You know what? That's so damn close. I'm gonna tell you. What was it? Three twenty-seven. It was no uh, three seventeen. I was gonna say. I think it was three seventeen. Three dollars and seventeen cents, bro. Like, come on, dude. Man. A dollar and a half a bag of Fritos. You love yes. I was like, come on, bro. Three dollars. You know no, not three hundred. Three dollars. Three dollars and seventeen cents. Fifty cent. Thank you. Raking in that bread. Oh yeah. Hey, YouTube's raking in the bread because you know how many times they put commercials in that damn video. Well, they're not. And y'all know what else they're doing? No more. That's right. Even p channels that ain't monetized, which really hurts them when they're not monetized. Hey. Thank you. Oh, they got a fire in there. Oh, Lord. For real? Even when channels ain't... Yeah, I know, right? So, <laughs> even when channels ain't monetized, y'all, YouTube came up with a new gig where they're going to run videos in it and ain't nothing you can do. They make the rules. You got to play by them. So, that's really hurting new YouTubers because now, let's say you make a YouTube video. What the hell? Somebody may not want to look at your video. You know what I'm saying? If it's got... You know, you're going to get less views, in other words. You know what I mean? If, if they got to watch a commercial. And they ain't even getting paid for it. But, hell, for $3.17 for 1.1 million views, they may as well... That's a slap in the face, man. Don't pay me nothing, bro. Treat me like TikTok does, bro. <laughs> Stop throwing stuff in my car. So, I need 4 million views. Y'all help a brother out. I need 4, 4 million, million views, views to cover these two ice coffees. Help a brother out now. 4 million views. Hey, Ralph, what's up? What's up, Patricia? What's for what's dinner? Up, what's up, y'all? Here comes the big straw. <laughs> they already know. Bring him a high rule. Bro. Look how tall that thing is, man. Look how stupid that straw is. Put your straw in your drink. That drives me nuts. The no hand, Ralph. <laughs> We're about to go take a ride out there to Bonneville. I'm going to show y'all how beautiful it is right they now. They said I got some coupons. 
<laughs> right, at this point, I need coupons. <laughs> Hell, I even need some food stamps to survive out here, bro. These times are getting hard now, boy. The website, the website's been okay, but the, I mean, that it's That thing hard. ain't been okay, bro. That thing has been far from okay. That's crashed, bro. Well, this is the Website thing. took crash landing. I ain't gonna come on here and lie to y'all, bro. The website well, before was at least covering and YouTube was like halfway covering like the expenses. DoorDash while you're in the car. You ain't lying. I know, right? Yo, hey, I ain't against that, bro. I guarantee I ain't against it. They said you're going to poke your eye out. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Strong. But right now, y'all, I hate for to tell y'all this. I ain't even getting on the interstates right now because they got a serial shootout here. And then shot about 30 people. Yeah. There's a serial shooter, bro. So I ain't even getting on the interstate. Y'all come out here to New Orleans area. Y'all got a duck. Gunning. Duck. Shoot. On the interstate, in the backseat. Bro, and y'all know the weird thing about it is they don't never see who shot them. They ain't never a car around. So, Sarah, you know what, man? I'm... Mom left her phone. She's trying to lie on me. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. RJ. Um, <clears throat> anyway, they don't never see who shot them, bro. They don't never see nothing, y'all. They, they just know they got shot, and a lot of them get killed. And 27 and 3 months. I mean... Yeah, in three months, Charlie. And then two from yesterday, last night? Yeah, they had two on the 310, huh? Yep. They wild. So, yep. bro, I'm not even going on the interstate, bro. I, I think they might have one of them things on a drone or something shooting them, bro. Because how nobody don't never see nothing? No, no witnesses. witnesses. They, and half the time, the people don't even know they're getting shot. So, they're bro. not in any, like, argument or anything. Hell no. Nah, they just know they're shot. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? Yes, ride vlogs. We trying as That's long it. as they let us. Look, y'all tired of seeing me, bro. I can flip that camera around and show y'all the road. Y'all let the brother know. I got y'all. Y'all stay safe, please. Oh, man. We ain't, I ain't even getting on the interstate, man. And, and what made me, somebody said DoorDash when I said I ain't against that because I ain't. Because I like DoorDash, eat some of that food, drop it off. No, I won't eat that food. I drop it off to him, make videos, boom, boom. But the girl was actually an Uber driver that got killed, man. That's terrible. Not an Uber driver, Uber food delivery. Howdy, Ralph and Sarah. Did y'all watch the UFC fight last night? That oh, we were just talking about. Just that. talking about that, <laughs> bro. I, I mean, you know, look, that, that's why I can't do nothing like that. Because Sarah goes in all these guys' DMs, and I'm just young. Bro, stop. Why you implement me? See what I'm saying? I'm just a little YouTuber, a little small guy, small little, you know what I'm saying, Louisiana. And I get these screenshots already, bro. See, I imagine me being on national TV and treated like that, bro. Why, Why are you wiping my DMs? I'd be like, man, I would have went and broke his other leg, bro. <laughs> or I might have broke Sarah's leg, bro, and let him go lay on side of each other right there. I haven't heard about all these shootings. David, what? Good. That's because hey, you that on the bitch other out. side. Yep. I'm going to have to put the article up so you can see it. Uh, nobody's that's getting on favorite. I said nobody's getting on the interstate, but I guess people are getting on the interstate. You said stop chirping your wife. <laughs> I know. Ralph. I have to mess with you. Show them the damn road. They might want oh, to see Mary, Mary, I agree. He does It's just, I don't know. There's so much to the YouTube algorithm that I guess we still don't really understand all the ins and outs. Bro, they say do a thumbnail. Okay, do a thumbnail. Use a hashtag this, that, this, that. And you do it and you spend hours doing it after spending multiple hours making your video, right? And then it does worse than a regular video you just put up with no hashtags. <laughs> You're like, oh, you son of a... What's you know what I'm saying? I, I don't think there's a rhyme or a reason. I, I don't know, you know? I don't know. Uh, I don't thank know. you, Andrea. Yeah, we just got Duncan's. We got Miss Mary. We got Captain Jane. Hey, Miss Mary, what's up, Captain Rosie. Jane? We got Manly Mel. All right, we got the house full. Okay, what's up, everybody? I'm going to hit the lake real quick. We're going up over here. Check out the lake. See what's going down. See if they catch us a fish or crabs or what. Probably ain't catching nothing. Oh, we got uh, hay from New Orleans. What's up, New Orleans, babe? What's up, what's up? You got me putting your seasoning in my cereal now. They don't know nothing about that New Orleans bowl of honey oats. I'm telling you, boy. <laughs> I guarantee it. I'm telling you. Everybody <laughs> like that seasoning now. I ain't gonna lie on that. Everybody really like good. that seasoning. Bro, I was about to go here for a U-turn and run some of them trees on that. Like, Please don't do that. Nah, man, that season is good stuff. What's up, Leanne from Texas? All Hurricane right. Katrina was Mississippi storm, not New Orleans. It might have been, but I guarantee you, boy, we went under, babe. A lot of people say it was Mississippi storm, but I don't think so, bro. We had them all levees break. Well, I'm 
If you go down to the ninth ward and tell all them people that in the ninth ward, I don't think they appreciate that, man. This is the thing. Mississippi just, they got, I don't know, you went over a cone or something. Uh, Mississippi no did get the initial hard hit, and they didn't get the news coverage that they really deserve for their damage. And probably but, but because to say, New Orleans... But to say it was a Mississippi storm and we had dead bodies floating all over the goddamn city is a little dramatic. You know what I'm saying? It was a storm that devastated multiple states. That is true. That's what it was. It was tragedy and it was tragic for everybody. But to say yeah, I mean, I it was think... one state or another when we had all these dead bodies floating around, bro, and these fucking people getting raped and businesses getting looted. <laughs> Built houses 15, 20 feet underwater. Huh? Right. If that wasn't our storm, I don't know whose it was. But Mississippi could have had the whole damn thing. It would have hurt my feelings. Right. I know. It was like we wanted it. <laughs> we would have let y'all keep it if y'all wanted it that you bad. You could have had the whole damn thing. If we got another one this year, yeah. you could have had that. That's your storm. Call it the Mississippi monster. <laughs> right? Uh, the storm wasn't bad here, but with the le Now, that is true. I there I have my own conspiracy theory about the, the levees breaching. They were going to breach because of the storm surge, but I personally think they bre they breached in a certain spot on purpose no so doubt. it wouldn't breach somewhere else. Yeah, down. there's no doubt they they did what they did to the Ninth Ward to save the French Quarter, in my opinion. Right. What you're going to do? You're going to take out a lower-income neighborhood, or are you going to let the French Quarter go down where all the tourists go? What you going to do? That's my opinion. Somebody had to make that call, bro, and they made that call. That's the that's way I see it. Believe me, the last thing they wanted was 20 foot of water in the French Quarter. <laughs> you know. Don't get me wrong, Lakeview got whacked Detroit? over too. What's up, Detroit? Just hopped in where y'all heading. We on Mountable, y'all, in Metairie, just outside New Orleans. We about 32 seconds from the lake. They say you ain't wrong. <sighs> I'm telling you, man. And I get it. I get people from Mississippi, man, man, behind Katrina, because they're like, you know, they didn't get that coverage, but. Move to the big city, bro. If that's the case, I'm sorry. You wanna you wanna know the saw the sad truth right now? How about this? They got parts of Louisiana got knocked off the map last year. And guess what? They ain't getting no coverage. Nope. And worse than that, they didn't even get help from FEMA. You go ride Lake through Charles there. Still ain't you go out. ride through there, every house or every other house has a blue. You can't press I didn't no brakes. You Your see. hand ain't pressing no brakes. I hate to be the bad news. I need an emergency yes. brake like the student driver. But you know what? They didn't get the coverage. They didn't yeah. even get the help from... They ain't even getting help right now. Right now. They done for. I'm talking about houses are straight, houses are straight up flattened, bro. Mm -hmm. They ain't getting no help right now. It is what it is. Yeah. It's the reality. It's the government. It's, you know? They don't give a shit. They're going to go... And they're going to help the city. They're going to help New Orleans. They're going to help. That's what they're going to do. Yep. You know? But believe me if I tell you, Mississippi got a lot of good help out of Katrina. Yeah, I guarantee you that. Okay? They didn't get left abandoned like these folks in Louisiana are getting right now. We all got looked out for for Katrina. Not just Mississippi. Us too. Anybody. I guarantee you that. Everybody got 26,000 and 15,000. Damn, this water must have been high in hell, y'all. Let's rain, yeah? Flip that um, camera around. Yep, we're in Metairie, but we're not on Williams. We didn't go to the Kenner boat launch. Bonneville boat launch, y'all. We're at the Bonneville boat launch. This is actually a view from my backyard, okay? <laughs> Quit lying to these people. I'm playing. Ooh, that's how Louisiana. That's the best thing. You too. What's up, babe? We appreciate y'all. Uh, facts uh, on neighborhood, that's Ralph. That's it, man. That's my boat right there. I ain't really trying to go ride it right now, though. No. Nate would like to know, what did your tattoo on your left bicep say? Oh, it says, learn from yesterday. Wait, hope hold for on, the I can't see you. Oh, no. oh I thought the... Wait, Ralph, look oh. here in the camera. Because of this That's and the windshield. No, that. I'm saying it made it look like the boat was sinking. Man, that oh. boat ain't sinking, man. You threw it off, man. <laughs> look, y'all. All right, wait, hold on. So it says... See? Look, learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow, y'all. That's what that says, Okay. I know they're too big, so I try to keep them covered at all times. I'm playing. But that's what it says, y'all. Let's show them that water. You want to get right. out? We got enough battery life to get out? I don't know. That's now that's got debatable. No, My never no, got battery life. Now we got no battery, bro. <laughs> Much love from San Antonio. What's up, guys? What's up, y'all? 
Uh, love the quote. Love from Georgia. Thank you. That's dope. So, Georgia. So, yeah, let, we'll flip that camera around. Unless y'all want to look at us, bro, but we on the lake. Figure y'all might want to see some water. How's the weather like out there? I swear, bro. I ain't never seen it rain so much in all my days, bro. It's been raining, Every like, for day. a month. Every day. At least, at least a month. Yeah. My bad around, at baseball. some point of the day, it has rained. The only good part about that is we really haven't had the hard, hard summer heat like we normally do out here. And, and it's still humid. Because the out over... Out. Yeah, it's still humid, but, like, that, like, take your breath away heat. Let me show y'all, bro. Really when I get me a boat one day, bro, this one will be launching all that, all right? Just so y'all know. I'm just telling y'all. See that right there? You ain't That's never getting a be, boat. Bro. You ain't gonna make it past the pier. That's where I'm gonna be right there, You're bro. gonna be going sinking on the <laughs> By those no, I'm gonna have a nice boat next time, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna be sinking like that. I'm sick of the rain. It's terrible. Man, this rain sucks. Bro. It is humid. It's sucky humid. Oops, what sorry. What you doing, bro? It's the uh, windshield is fogging up. What's up, Georgia? Oh, this is a uh, drug I'll go fishing with you, bro. I appreciate it, man. I wish I had a boat. I'll take y'all fishing. I guarantee you. I'll take these overcast <laughs> over the heat. I know. That's what I was saying. That's the only benefit, but my yard is hot. Horrible. Oh man, you ain't kidding, boy. I tell you that right now. I dislike the humid. <laughs> I know, man. It's terrible. I'm, I'm like, man, I'm ready for winter. And y'all already know we don't get much of a winter. Let's go through here. What's everybody doing? Let's oh wow, I could say the same here in Detroit. People losing power. They got rescue teams on boats pulling dead bodies out the freeway. Oh, what's Damn. going on with Detroit? What's I haven't heard that? anything. Oh, I'm so sorry. Damn, that's sad, boy. I tell you, that's man, horrible. Sean, put that camera straight back. So they said, is that your backyard? I wish. This is actually right outside of my backyard. I live right on that level. <laughs> oh, oh, man, that thing raggedy, bro. Damn, how you go from 84 to 60 from one second, bro? Where they do that at? <laughs> All right, are we back, y'all? I'm driving a boat. If we go fishing, Nate said. I'm good with that. Look at that boat coming in hot and heavy right there. Y'all see it coming in? That'd be me, bro, coming through like that. I don't know if y'all can see that far out there. It's buffering. All right, go back out and go back in, and let's see if that we might have bad reception. All right. Let's get the Keep hell out of here. Losing connection. All right, we're getting out of this bitch. Sucker. <laughs> yeah, you can't curse, fool. <laughs> I live in Kentucky, and I want to come to Louisiana to fish. I'll bring my Raggedy John boot. All right. All right. A boat's a boat, bro. All we need to be able to do is get up on that water. <laughs> Nate Roberts says, let me drive the boot. <laughs> Hey, I don't give a damn. Who drives it? Just got to go find the fish. That's all. He's going to sink the boot. Y'all better have insurance now. If y'all trying to do an insurance job on y'all's boat. If y'all want an insurance job, <laughs> y'all let me ride that sucker. I got us under control. Right, Girl, I'll guarantee. be the captain. <laughs> Ralph the Baker has that Popeye and Olive vibe. <laughs> <laughs> so much constant rain and heavy thunderstorms it's flooding the freeways and cities won't repair the broken infrastructure oh i'm, so I'm telling sorry. you man yeah, it's terrible. terrible so this is our levee y'all if it ever starts to flood there's the little levee right there all right foamy me cobra he said he's got the boat all right well i'm gonna tell you what say less and come on through what's that l32 and l33 mean mm -hmm. hmm. levee what's that mean y'all number for the gate or something when they close the levee Oh, what the rich folk got back there? Mm. Well, that's peculiar because we ain't got nothing like that in our neighborhood. Um, yeah, I wish I could help. Been working there. I don't have it. Had it. Mm -hmm. Definitely because you were the last one. Oh, yeah, you did. No, nah, that was the stove. Boy, I tell you a lot. Mm -hmm. So this is Bonneville, y'all. Right outside New Orleans, this is Bonneville right here. Let's see, they got a nice house right there. Such a strange looking house. Look to your right. You see it right there? I don't think it's your thing ain't even in the screen. Oh, look right there. See that house, y'all? My boy, what's, what's up? up y'all? Lower levy, that means. Oh, okay, lower levy. I wonder what the hell that means. This is dirty stuff. I know, right? They said, why is everywhere in Louisiana so dirty? I don't know. It sucks, bro. Because we had swampy, rainy. Yeah, this, this right here, this your nice neighborhood. This, I know, this, man. It's like a three million a, dollar street. Shit, you need you need a million or two to live on here, bro. Shit, you need a good solid million, bro. You ain't got a million. You ain't living back down. Now, right here, you probably getting the 400, 500 thousand. 
Yeah, I'll be here as well. Louisiana sucks, bro. I've been trying to tell people that. I love it because it's home, but I hate it, bro. There ain't no opportunity. You gotta you gotta work two jobs and hustle if you ain't gotta work three and hustle. First shit sucks, man. Yeah. That's it's rough out here, y'all. Try and tell folks that. What's up, Roxanne? People think we live on the bayou and, and live off the land. That shit ain't real, man. Shit's fake, bro. It's not, not real. I promise y'all. If it was, I'd tell y'all. Everything's expensive. Houses are uh, tremendous. Okay? Right. If you rent, that's tremendous. If you own a house, you gotta have 300, 400. And it's it's expensive, bro. And everybody pays nothing. That's true. That's the terrible part of that, y'all. Charlie said, why is everybody coming from Louisiana today? What the heck? But Louisiana does uh, uh, does suck, Shirley. Me and Sarah were saying that earlier. Uh, it just sucks. I mean, it really does. I mean, the culture is amazing, but the state itself. All right, the culture is just... amazing. The food is amazing, and that that's where the, that's it. Draw the line yeah. right there. That's that's a wrap. Other than that, we're the last in line for everything. Yeah. Bottom of the map for everything. Sounds like New York. You got to know somebody, bro, to get anything. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you know somebody, you can get in some good issues. But Guys, for anybody terrible. that's new to the channel, we ask that we do not discuss politics. I'm going to just give one warning. If you discuss nah, we'll politics, we, you're going to be muted because we all here together. We don't give a dang about who's who. I always say, bro, vote for whoever the hell you want to. That's your right. Vote for whoever the heck y'all want to. The way I see it, bro, I don't even give a damn because nobody does nothing for me. <laughs> Right. I see everybody fighting this. I'm like, man, I ain't even getting in that, bro. Because guess what? They ain't, they ain't doing nothing for me. Hell. So, do you go live on TikTok more than YouTube? Someone asked. That's a good question, but I, I would yeah. probably say yeah, but that's coming to an end, bro. Because I'm trying to get away from being, even though I have a much, much, much bigger following on TikTok. I'm trying. I'm, I might start stepping away from TikTok and start doing more YouTube. Um. I don't know. We had to see what the future holds on that. Because it took me a long time to get the 460,000 followers y'all now. But on the same token, you got to know when to cut the ties, bro. And just be like, the hell with it. It is what it is. You know what I mean? So. Um, besides political, the other, I mean, there's really not any real rules on the channel. That's the only thing that we do ask. Cause it just like causes to keep too much it, confusion, y'all. Right. It just causes issues. We just ask for everybody to get along, be respectful to each other, and to... Ralph and that's just really it. Not be a just troll. Be cool, that's all. <laughs> yeah, like other than that, I mean, some stuff we can't personally discuss, or because we'll just get in trouble on YouTube. But I mean, it's really not no rules other than that, because it's just that's not what the channel's about. You nah, know? it's just family, food, fun, chilling, yeah. hanging. That's all. Look at these raggedy houses, no y'all. These are about these are here about half a mil to a mil, bro, depending on what you're looking at right here. I guarantee you that. Look at that nice little boat right there, though, boy. Boy, I need me a boat like that. No, you don't, baby. Boy, hell, I don't. All I need is 900 million views on YouTube. I got that. <laughs> so you need almost a billion to get I you a boat? I need almost a billion to get that boat. That's oh, the rate I'm baby, going. I don't think you're getting a boat from YouTube. Never know. Speak into existence. <laughs> What's up? Have we been to Austin, Texas? Man, bro, look at all that stuff they put out there, bro. Oh, it's all filled with water and man, everything. Man, bro, I could have brought it into the thrift shop and made some money, man. Them rich folk be always throwing stuff away. <laughs> Zelly. Good Lord. <laughs> yeah, these houses you're looking at, they look raggedy, huh? But I guarantee you can't touch one for less than a half a milli right here. Oh, yeah. Especially Just a half a milli or better. Shit, I guarantee it. Yeah, Amanda, we got some... We do have some uh, coffee. You just can't see us. If y'all would rather see our beautiful faces, just let us know. We're close to West End. We're still by Bonneville, by the uh, by the lake in that neighborhood. Yeah. Let's see what we got happening here. Ask Ralph if he has subscribed to Boxy Charm yet. No, but I'm going to sign that up for Sarah. Oh, for real? Yeah, I'm going to get to that. Oh, she ruined a surprise? What's up, Lake Charles? A half a mil, what's the draw? Yeah. Um, you tell me, bro. Now, half a mil, I ain't talking about that right there. You see that right there? That's a milli, bro. No, it ain't. Shit, Sarah, off a bottle? I don't think that's I a got, half a You milli. see them two BMWs right there. I'm telling you, that's a million dollars, man. Sir, our ain't house no is... no freaking way. Our house is 300000 It's a piece of trash. 
Okay, if that ain't a million, I guarantee, I guarantee you right here what you're looking at right now. And I make, I bet you that's a million right there. I don't care what nobody. I say said. about it, uh, eight twenty-five. Okay, eight twenty-five. In my book, that's a million. Might as well be, huh? Might as well freaking be. Kelly sent over ten dollars. I Both appreciate fun. it. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate Thank it, you. man. Is that the lot value Shit. it has to be? Um, I mean, I mean it's really. the whole shebang. You can knock down that house if you want to, but you're going to get the pro the lot and the like, house. In our neighborhood, we got like a little three-bedroom raggedy house, one bed. You could buy it for 300000 you know, a house on the block like that. And what people are doing now is they are knocking them down and building bigger houses on the lots. But that's just the price, bro. In old memory, that's, that's just the freaking price. Yeah. I ain't lying. It is getting crazy. Sarah's ridiculous, man. She, how much you think you could pick up that purple house for right there? The purple lights on it, Sarah. Really? On bottom or right here? Right there. The one oh, that we, we looking close at. to Metairie Road. Metairie Road and freaking bottom. I'm going to say six fifty nine. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're talking, you're talking above a half a million to a million right here. I'm telling you all day long. What's the lot worth, though? I mean, <laughs> all right, I got I one for know. you. On Metairie Road, they just sold a lot around the corner from here for eight hundred fifty thousand. Oh, across from the graveyard thingy? I mean, the uh, yeah. funeral home? Yep. Yeah, I did 869000 they asked for. It sold it for 850 Gs. That's good in y'all's favor. <laughs> Shit, ain't good in my damn favor. Get, we don't live here? No, he was saying our house value, even though it's a piece of crap, that the house yeah. value is higher. It's all going to crash sooner or later, my friend. Price of lumber has skyrocketed this year. That is true. That is very true. The weather looks kind of rough. Man, it's been raining every day for. It's not. It's not raining right month. now, though. Kind of nice to keep the yard around here, bro. <laughs> Charlotte's is stupid. What's that fool done <laughs> She said, "Take elevator elevator ride on live." <laughs> An elevator ride. What the hell is she, she knows you eat it. NADZ said over five toward a raggedy Easy. boat. Oh, nah, I thank you. you guys. You're listening. Hey, so bro. The day we get a boat, bro, these lives are going down, bro. Hopefully, not literally down. Metairie Road at $2 million towards a bar. That's right. And we're not too far from a bar right now. That's what I'm telling y'all. This, this ain't no... Oh, I think we're on a private street right now. Maybe not. Yeah, we are. They ain't got no private street back here. You ain't know about it? No. You about to learn <laughs> now. How close are you guys to the city? So we're about... Five, about... Maybe. Like seven minutes. Shit, if that, probably five. Depends seven. on what part of the city. I mean, we're on Bonneville, so then after Bonneville, the that next, city park right there, boom, on the next yeah. one. The next exit would be. But I ain't get on interstate right there because somebody just got they got that serial shooter out here right now. Man, killed that little girl right there driving down the road. <laughs> the SS Minnow. <laughs> hey, brother, SS Minnow will be in full effect, bro. That's too expensive. Once interest rates go up, those home prices won't be able to hold. Agree. Man, they yeah, all, they are going upside down in their homes. It's just crazy. See that little raggedy house right there? If you live in it, I'm sorry. That's a big house. Look how far back they That's big. That's a mellow. That's a little mellow. He said that's a mellow. They ain't no dang way. Sarah, I'm living a cot before I freaking paid a million dollars saying that. that. You won't live back here. Well, what do you think know. that is right there to your right? I don't know. You get my anxiety high with these prices. We ain't going to be living back here. I mean, unless I get... 700 billion views on YouTube. <laughs> Ryan, come get me a little house 700 like 700 billion? <laughs> I did the math. If I, all right, so I made $3.17 off 1.1 million views. So if y'all could just help me get 3 billion views, I'm going to get me an $80,000. Now, I'm going to tell you, baby, you coming in uncharted territory with this internet connection. Why? I'm losing my followers? I don't know, but I could just tell it's a little fuzzy. Oh. Drive through Lakeview. Oh, Lord. Are you trying? <laughs> All right, y'all. Wait, hold on. I got to. Let me try and turn the key. Ralph's going get so mad. Let me tell you what happened. Oh, it was the year 2005. <laughs> Brewing in the Gulf was Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> Flip that down. Can't fix that camera. I hate when that falls solid. Is. Fuzzy. Mm -hmm. Flip it, flip it. I mean, it's it's crooked. Man. I hate that. Oh, that's why I don't like messing with it. I know, but I cannot look at no crooked phone. All right, bear with me, guys. Bear with us for this story. All right, is that better? All right, y'all let us know if it's working okay. good. It's fuzzy or it's oh, working. Oh, they good. say losing y'all. 
Oh, uh, hell. How the hell we get closer to the interstate than losing us? Oh, we gotta get away from the interstate. Yeah. I mean, is it good on your end? Yeah, it looks better now. All right, we good? I think when we mess with it, we gotta get away from this interstate for real. I ain't even playing. Woo. All right, so it's the year 2000. <laughs> <laughs> it's the year 2005. I'm just a young man at the time. <laughs> and I, it was the it was the investment of my life. It was Hurricane Katrina come through. Are we gonna like you or no? Yes, no, hurry up. I got one care. All right, so we gotta get away from this interstate, though. I ain't playing. Yeah, All no. right, so it's the year 2005. I said that three times. Hurricane Katrina's brewing, brewing out there in the Gulf of Mexico. Bob Breck said, don't nobody worry about it. This storm going to Florida. Fair enough. We've missed. We've been saying we're going to have all kind of hurricanes, this. We hear that every hurricane season. No big deal. Hey, hold up, bro. We ain't never worried about that because you miss most of them. You know what I'm saying? You just hope you never get them. But it was really big. That's why you caught a yellow light, sucker. Why the hell is he cutting us off? He ain't even in a turning lane. I don't know. He must not know I got insurance. So, what happened was... <laughs> so, what happened was... Hurricane Katrina hit. Boom. Destroyed Lakeview. Destroyed the Ninth Ward. Destroyed a lot of places, okay? So, y'all. And we're Lakeview... Gonna go there. We're going to go to Lakeview right now. Wait, let me give you a little backstory. Lakeview is a very nice neighborhood where the property value is pretty high. Oh, hell, pretty um, high. It was a real Well, trip. I'm even talking about it 2005. It was pretty oh, high. Yeah. It was a good neighborhood. If you could buy it, it's a little... You're not super... Well, they got some wealthy people to live there. But this is like your upper oh. middle class area. So anyways, continue. All right, so <clears throat> Katrina happens. Well, I went back after Katrina, y'all. I went to Texas, came back. As soon as I got back... Because I couldn't take Texas, bro. It's just too much for me. I, I, I just wasn't used to all that. Love the people, man. Treated us nice. <sighs> man, it's hot. It was too bad in Texas. I guess it's being stuck there. You know what I'm saying? You just want to go home. So I said, man, I'm shooting in. Came back. Just devastation, man. Just unbelievable. <laughs> you couldn't even believe it. But, and especially Lakeview, bro. Like, people, like, we came back and drove through there. It was like just piles of stuff on the medium, on the neutral ground. Lakeview Beds got and sofas. Right and like then and then you see an axe where people was axed through all the houses. And yeah. um They got like so, what, nine, ten foot oh, of water. Fifteen foot, twelve foot, fifteen yeah. foot of water. So now what happened was it never looked like it was gonna come back. That's how badly Lakeview was devastated, y'all. Alright, I ain't gonna say it was in a good shape. It was in a bad way. You could buy these houses with the land. 20 grand. Got it. It's gutted. The house is gutted. 15 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand, bro. Yeah. I told Sarah, I said, hey, Ben, let's go get one of these properties. At the time, I was I was busting my ass, bro. I was getting up early in the morning, 5 in the morning, and working until 10 at night. So I had a lot of loot at the time. I had 30 grand. I couldn't win and bought one cash. So I found one. The house was gutted. It, it was like the it, the whole house was together, and it was like the inside was two by just fours. two by fours. They got it the electrical out, the sheetrock, everything. Right. So, and Sarah said, like "Well, let me ask my dad because he's in construction." <laughs> I said, "You know what, baby? You know my dad watches these lives, right?" That's okay. He can hear this. It's true. <laughs> I said, "You know what? You got a point, Dad. Your dad is in construction." <clears throat> I said, why don't you let him know we're going to get this property right here. I got the money. Well, he was good at appraising houses, too. Yeah. So I was like, is this worth it? So. Because that's all we had. Between 15 and 30 grand, you can get a big old mansion, right? It's gutted out. What does he do? Oh, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Trust me. Lakeview ain't never coming back, bro. It's a done deal. They're never coming back. It's destroyed. They're going to wind up flattening this down completely. <laughs> now that same property, bro, we could any of us could have picked up for twenty or thirty grand. I swear, I guarantee you can't touch it for less than a half a million. No, more than that. How much? Oh, you mean got it? I mean, you're something raggedy in Lakeview, like the most raggedy property they got right now. Oh, I don't even know if you could get it. 
And not now. I'm gonna show y'all where the levy broke. <laughs> I should have a multi-million dollar property right now for 30 grand. But he's like, oh, it'll never come back. It's just, it's done. If the city's done, it's just done. I said, sir, I don't think he's right on that. Oh, my dad knows what he's talking about. Trust him. I said, you sure about that? Well, I was, okay, so. Flip I that was, camera around because I'm going to show I was this pregnant with Alyssa. Now. This is the 17th Street Canal right here. We're going over, y'all. Yeah, so this it is, am I, it's going to mess it up. Okay. So, <laughs> there went my fortune and fame, okay? Well, there went my fortune. All right, done. I wound up spending the 30 grand on Home Depot and shoes and clothes and nothing. Okay, so that's how that went down. Now let's go look at these properties that were gonna be flattened out and New Orleans was never gonna do anything with it. We're gonna go Listen, look at it right now. Must, that, that was the time to, well, okay. So it probably all in all, buying a property and outright we could have paid cash yeah because we had the cash oh, we yeah. were very very young we were like god i think 20. i was like 18 at the time and i was uh -huh. pregnant for Alyssa. Uh -huh. and we had the cash now we would have had to like take time coming up with like, the just money let it to, sit there. yeah it probably would have to sit there for about a year year and a half till we could like put the money into but everybody's it everybody's all sat there it. honestly yeah, I mean that it wouldn't have mattered if once a lot of people property. looking back came in, y'all bought the properties, and then what they did was when they bought them, they just waited like a year or two, and they just left them gutted and doubled their money and rolled out on them. Yeah, right, we well, really could. So this is the neighborhood, my. This dad. is the neighborhood, y'all. That's gonna be <laughs> flatlined out, never coming back. Yeah, you see the houses, right? Yeah, <laughs> bro. I'm swear, I'm gonna take y'all. I'm gonna show y'all where the levees broke. They actually got a little uh, sign. Now, the saying. streets are horrible out here. <laughs> That's the only downfall. Yeah, you see how flattened out it is, huh? <laughs> I'm talking, you could have got that house right there for 15 grand, bro. I swear. Anything you're looking at, you could have came back here with your money. They probably didn't even look like, they didn't even look like this at the time. They, everybody just rebuilt them. Yep, they had two stories and all that down. The roads out here are very bad. Break our car going over these potholes. Yeah, this is a very pot. Potholes are terrible out here. The streets are horrible. But these now are very expensive properties. You can see for miles. Pothole uh, of the week. <laughs> Flipped them same as they bought them. That is true. It's what they My house sat for a year fighting with insurance. Ooh, David, I knew that's true. That happened to my mom. <laughs> oh, yeah. My mom's house took her, what, three years Let to finally? Tell you Rebuild after oh, the yeah. insurance. Oh yeah, a it's lot of people you. became multi-man. Like, see how you see this house is still? Oh old? yeah, the taxes out Look here are insane. Look straight ahead, y'all see that house right there? That 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 made it through Katrina. They never knocked it down and all that, right? I guarantee you, fuck, that might be the house. No, that's not the house. That ain't the house. Mm -hmm. All right, well, it's right around here. You could have got that house you're looking at with the light on right there for less than twenty grand, bro. Less than twenty grand. Hmm. Now you can't touch it for less than a um, six, seven hundred G's. Oh yeah, they have some of the highest taxes around here. Property taxes. It's yeah, who crazy. gives it down when you only pay thirty dollars, thirty thousand dollars for the house? No, I know. I'm just look at these roads, so y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna. I want to show y'all where the levy broke at, though. I'm gonna show you. Oh lord. Oh lord, Ralph, you can't go up that. Go, go to the left. Sorry, I've been driving thirty years. Oh, watch that one. Jeez, I'm Pete's, man. Why these people ain't freaking protesting us oh, trying to get that street together? They are, but nobody gives it down. Look at I wouldn't road. pay my property taxes. Oh, you pay it. Oh, oh Lord. Uh, <laughs> Wait, hold on, y'all. We got to maneuver. Bear with me, y'all. I'm trying to get y'all to wear the levees, bro. We will tear that down in a few years and build a monster. Bruh. Y'all, so many people became multi millionaires oh. that were smart enough to buy these properties, bro. Yeah, so out. many people got rich, man. I'm telling y'all. They put signs in the yard out there. Yeah, I've heard that. We have. I have family work, I that lives in that's this a neighborhood. That's a peculiar looking house. I like it. Don't get me wrong, but it's just peculiar. Oh, that's Crazy. like an estate. That's like a freaking compound. <laughs> if I lived there, I'd be like, y'all want to come to my compound? What are y'all driving? We're in a Chrysler, y'all. I'm so scared. He's I love Chrysler 200. Bottom out of my car and tear it If off. we get stuck, bro, I'm gonna need a GoFundMe, okay? <laughs> <laughs> trying to show y'all where Katrina took the levy down, but we gotta make it. We down. might take out the car first. Yeah, some very I'm gonna bad need a roof. front end alignment. Hope my oil pan don't get busted out. 
Shit, busting out. You mean ripping yes, off? Yes, this was all flooded, okay? So this, this was no all flooded 12, to like the feet. roofs. Oh, yeah. They, they, they was literally coming out of their roofs. But at some point, eventually, the water, what do you call it when it goes back? Recedes. Recedes, thank you. Back, and then they were left, and they had a, completely gone out of all their houses. But they even got expensive dogs around here. <laughs> They got expensive dogs. He does, bro. That's a French bully right there. Every now. car down here needs alignment. <laughs> Rent your house. Do not sell right now. Sit on it for about a year and then make your decision. I know that's right. I pay my taxes. Fix my streets. That's what I'm saying. I agree. Oh, I got a boat right here. Bruce might be abandoned. We might be able to take that. You cannot take that boat. Oh. Looks like somebody abandoned it for real. No, they just got to park because they probably can't get through the oh, streets to the driveway. I got a flat tie on it. I, no, I, really think, I, I guess the hell they I don't do. want it, but I really think somebody just left it down. No, that, it's because, Ralph, they probably got a freaking flat tire from these streets trying to make it to their house. Y'all, I'm trying to get y'all to where the levee broke right up the road here. Dogs with better credit score than me. And me. <laughs> Magic room. <laughs> I guarantee it. What's up, y'all? Damn, man. Cor correct. The levee drowned the area. That is true. The hurricane, to be honest with y'all, really wasn't that bad. You know what I'm saying? From what I understand. No, I mean, it like, like knocked over stayed. trees. And yeah, it don't get me wrong. The roof off. Yeah, they had some roofs. Oh, man. This is terrible, y'all. I don't know about this adventure. Damn, man. I'm oh, really, Ralph, the street's getting we worse. We might really need a GoFundMe. I ain't oh, gonna have tires. Lord. I better quit playing like that before we really need it. <laughs> oh, look at this issue, man. What am I supposed to do here? Ralph is there. I'm moving to Brazil from Arkansas, but I can't decide what to do with my house. Help. Ooh, wow. Brooke. That's well, awesome, Brazil. Well, first of all, did you go there and investigate it? Which is, that's a serious move right there. I mean, right now is a seller's market. And whoever buys it will be So doing. if you, you could possibly make money on your house depending what kind of equity you have in your house. So this could be a good opportunity. However, if you return back. You screw. And the market, you know, and while the market is still inflated. Now, what is one supposed to do about this? They're ridiculous, bro. These roads, I ain't even lying. They oh. got cones, bro, on the freaking road. It's so bad. These poor people. Yeah. They're crazy as hell they are. Oh, Lord. In the words of Clark Griswold, it's National Lampoon's Family Vacation. Roll them up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to show you what a levee boat is. This is how they drive in Canada. What? You can tell how much the land has sunk by the sewer manhole sticking up. Is that what's causing it? I don't know. Well, I mean, it's all swamp land out here. That's why we have horrible potholes. I don't know why it's so bad necessarily in this. Yeah, I mean, you, you see, see that right ahead, Ralph? Yeah. Don't hit it. I'll roll over that sucker, me. I mean, look, they got grass growing. It's growing its own land. It That's its like own island. <laughs> That's an island in the middle of the road, y'all. Ain't no game out here, bro. He got end up on the first 48. Oh, hell no. Who read it? Ike wasn't as bad as Harvey or Katrina. But you know, if we wouldn't have got, if them levees wouldn't have broke, y'all, it caused damage, though. I ain't gonna downplay it, but not like. Them levees just finished it off, bro. I lived in Bridge City, Texas during. Ike and we lost our home. Oh, I'm sorry, Leanne. That's terrible, man. It's just it's We terrible. got good conditions, but my job is making me stay there for about five years after we might move back to our or to Europe. It's an awkward situation. Well, Brooke, if I mean if you ain't gonna be in the States for that long, yeah, get rid of then it. I would just sell your house because being a landlord and renting it out and you Especially being out the of the end. country yeah. would probably be more headache unless like you hit, hired a management person to take care of it but it might be more of a headache if you're out of country you know like having to deal with all that stuff yep. if you got to evict somebody or if you got to do yeah, repairs it probably wouldn't be worth the headache if you're gonna be going that long that's just my advice that'd be my advice too because but, <laughs> unless you got somebody here that's gonna handle all that but you know I don't think being a landlord is as easy as people think. It's really not. Always got something going down, something breaking. Always a situation. Man, what the hell? We are man? not in the hood, y'all. This is a very wealthy, the predominant hood. neighborhood. Shit, <laughs> this is hood. not the hood. But you got to have a this million dollars. This is a to great live neighborhood. This is where you want to live. This is where you strive to live. This is where you got to work nine jobs or be a lawyer or a doctor. Right. It's where the drug lords live. I'm playing. I don't know. Probably. Thank you, Ben. 
But we are not in the hood. Y'all think this is the hood. Don't let me take y'all to the hood, bro. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, bro. I don't Put think we sink make... on it. This ain't funny, bro. You got us here. Shit. Hey. Benson over to us. What up, brother? Man, what's up, man? I'm just trying to survive three streets right there. Some serious business. Man. Like plenty of people need grow houses. Yep. Telling y'all, man, it's a serious issue. All right, looks like it gets a little better right here. Oh, you're welcome, Brock. I hope we gave you good advice. No, I think we did because the market's good to sell right now. It's not good to buy, but everybody yeah. wants it. All right, no so BMW this BMW for them. Die. I know they need like. Is where the levy broke right here, y'all. Show them that right here. They need uh. I'm gonna take this off. At? They got a sign that says it. I think that's down for it. All right, we're gonna show y'all where the levy broke right here. This is where that water come okay. in. There wasn't no stopping it, bro. This is where the levees broke. All this levees broke. Boom! Remember they were trying to send them helicopters in, y'all, to, to fill it up and it wasn't working? Yes, these are all single-family homes. There may be a few doubles somewhere in this vicinity and maybe a complex or two, but that would probably be closer to the... Where the hell's the sign at? All right, look, they're selling a, a 40 by 20. Look, sold, skip, sold... Skip, sold, sold, skip, skip, sold, sold. So they sold most of their lots right here. Yeah, new construction. I, can, I thought they said that they weren't uh, building on that. I think they, they reneged on that, bro. They reneged on that word. They lied. Where's that damn sign at? They moved the sign? Oh, the sign oh here's the sign. All right, get out and show them that sign. I'll read it, though. You're here. You're going to have to put the phone out. All right, y'all. Take a screenshot. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Hold on, y'all. They can't see that. It looks too blurry. See it, y'all? Can you pull it? Well, you can pull it closer. You got slack. What the hell you want me to see? What do you mean? I'm saying so they can read it. Hold on. Let me bring y'all closer, bro. Hold on, y'all. Hold up. All right. Y'all read that. Y'all see it? Take a screenshot if you want, but let me straighten it out. Yeah, there were definitely houses all right here, y'all. But when that water come through, it knocked them clean, clean off the off their foundations. The house of the rising sun. What the hell is that? August 29, 2005. Yeah, so all these, I'm going to show y'all. All right, y'all got a screenshot? Take a screenshot. We're about to get off this. I'm going to show y'all something. Too blurry? So that's where the levees broke, y'all. Right there. Boom. Just right there. You see how many houses it knocked off the foundation? Look. All them houses got knocked clean off the foundation. Look. Maybe they knocked them right after, but some of them definitely are knocked down. All right. Yes, Sarah. All right. Let's put them back up on the, th the mount thingy. Hold on, guys. Thank you, NADZ, sent over five. So this is for some raggedy guys. Thank all the tour. Y'all be safe. Next, Till next time, to all the survivors and victims of Katrina. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right. Okay. Yeah, the lower ninth ward really... Um, I mean, it was rebuilt, but there's still a lot of ba abandoned houses that yeah. the city didn't deal with. <clears throat> it's starting to say so. people cut the grass in the wall and stuff like that and upkeep it how they own it or something, huh? I think if it's abandoned and you do so much maintenance to it for so long and you have proof of it and stuff, then you could take ownership if it's not like in succession or and something. And I guess like because that. neighbors been cutting the lawns and lots for so long, Man, yo, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Oh, bro. Brandon, we're gonna keep you in our prayers. Oh, okay, TSP, if you're still on here, um, that your order should have been sent out. But uh, if you can message Ralph on the Instagram, yeah, it should have been out. But I could check on it if you can email. Ra I mean, <clears throat> message Ralph on Instagram, Ralph the Baker one hundred one. We can get your direct message there. And I could check on it because I don't know your name and your email address on live to be able to tell you. 
<clears throat> sooner. So you could send your info that way and I can let you know what's going on. Sending good vibes, Brandon. Yes, Brandon. Um, people be buying blocks, buying the blocks there. Yeah, they do. Yeah. How yeah. are the pups doing? They're doing good. They're doing good. They are doing good and getting big. This is the 17th right. Street Canal right here, though. Y'all showing that right oh, wait, there real I quick. Can't see it. This is the 17th yeah, Street Canal right Yeah, this is like the canal that broke, but on this, but on that side. Uh huh. So positive vibes. This right here is Bucktown, y'all. Yeah, so this is Bucktown. You got Lake Pontchartrain right here over these levees to your right. Oh, yes. Email address. Um, let me. I'm gonna put it in the comments right now for you guys. Look, this is Bucktown, y'all. Turn it so they can see. Maybe if I do that, it's gonna pop off. It's gonna make it the connection bad. Them, they can see. Look at them bolts right there, bro. Got the daiquiri shop. It's a little gas station right there. A bunch of seafood shops. Stuff like that. Some raggedy stuff. All right. Let's see. What to be the? You want to go to veterans? You want to go what's up? In, uh, what's up in there? Um, whatever you want, baby. All right, let's see. You're the driver. I know, I just All right, know I put it into the comments. Um, Ben sent over five. I had a great convo with you last week, Ralph. You definitely got me thinking about the dogs. I appreciate it, Ben. That's awesome, man. Definitely David said awesome, West End. Thank you, Ben. Damn it, David. Why you didn't say something two minutes ago, bro? <laughs> we're going to hit West End real quick. Y'all want to go hit West End late? I was going to go to West End, but I said, nah, they ain't going to want to go to West End. Then I don't want to go to West End. Then y'all like, let's go to West End. We're going to hit the lake. We're going to hit Lake Shore Drive real quick. Take us to the Cali, You don't wash your dang mind. <laughs> let's go to Cali, old babe. All right, we're going to be on West End in a couple minutes. Dun, 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 dun. All the way from Wisconsin. What's up? What's up, Wisconsin? We're just showing y'all regular Louisiana, man. That's all we showing you. About to go to Lakeshore Drive. They got some condos on there. <coughs> I don't know how much they cost, but I bet they ain't cheap, babe. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Calliope ain't there no more. What? Well, the old one might not be there, but I'm sure the new one is. Oh, isn't that where they redid the uh, projects? Like, but they're, it's like the really nice buildings now. I mean, yeah, but, um, you can't let them nice buildings fool you, man. Yeah, but it's still considered the Cali projects, right? Yeah, the projects are the projects. I mean, it might not be the red brick projects <laughs> we, we used to see, but same building, different. You know what I mean? Everything's the same. I don't think we got no more 7 Elevens, huh? I ain't, no, we ain't got no 7 Elevens. We used to. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if we got no more time savers, huh? No, hell no, we ain't got no time savers. We ain't got nothing. We you said I'm waiting for a 7 Eleven to pop up. We ain't got no we ain't got no Buckies. I love Landry's. We ain't got no water burgers. Oreos. Oh, that's Oreos I be hearing about. I have to check them one day. Oreos. Oreos? We have Circle K. Yeah, we have a Circle K. Yeah, yeah I think that's what 7 Eleven turned into a Circle K's. Let's see. On the West Bank. Oh, they got one on the West Bank? Yeah, we got brothers. We, we got, got a lot discount of zones. Yeah, we got a lot of brothers, a lot of discount zones. And we got some shell gas stations. Dun, 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 dun. It's extra dark tonight, boy. I ain't gonna lie. No Bucky's, no Whataburger. Nope. Nope, none of that. Now, I think they got a Whataburger. <clears throat> In Gonzales. Gonzales or something, yeah. but that's like an hour from us. And the Bucky's they ain't got one in Louisiana that I'm aware of. No, at all. No, nah, hell no. Nah. So this would be Lakeview, y'all. We almost on and we in New Orleans right now. So this would be Lakeview. <coughs> and uh I'm gonna take y'all Lakeshore Drive. Yeah, we're gonna check out the lake right quick, y'all. We're gonna go see what it is. Now we got a handful of birdies. We don't have on our side, I know at Luland they got a bunch of birdies, but out here they got like. I don't know where they got one out here, to be honest with you. Yeah, they got a birdies by our house on Airline. 
Oh, that's right. They sold them. Yeah. But it ain't like they're all over the place out here. No. Alright, so. Ralph, do you remember 1825 and two lanes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Frankie and Johnny, huh? No, that's a whole different that's commercial. A different, which, one, which one I'm thinking of? Hold on. You're thinking me. about Frank. Let them have it. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Say, 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 say. They stayed in business for a while, bro, letting people have it. Yeah, that was like the first rent to own furniture store. Uh huh. Let them have it. I see, I see, I see. Let them have it. They let everybody have it, bro. Go and see the special man. Yeah. <laughs> no credit, <laughs> no deposit. We'll see no the special problem. man. <laughs> Good old things, man. All right, y'all. Um, this this Lake Shore Drive, y'all. TSP, I think Ralph has a crab cake recipe on YouTube. Oh, yeah. You can check it out. How much y'all think those condos cost right there to your left, y'all? Ooh, right there? Yeah. Those are How much y'all think, bro? I guess Sarah's going to say 100000 All right, let's see what we got. You got some food. <laughs> Is that a lot? <laughs> man, you got to turn them, bro, so they, they can't even see, man. They can't right. even see all the businesses. All right, let's I mean, let's, look, this ain't really where you want to go, to be honest with y'all. Man, they should go to the crooked phone, bro. That's like, that drives you that nuts, like huh? like a pet peeve. When the phone is crooked, y'all, just, it just, I, I can't do it. Like, right. see, now I ain't trying to knock no businesses, bro. Like, this ain't where you, I mean, I ain't going to go. All right. I'm just saying, bro, this ain't like, in my opinion, these ain't like top shot shelf restaurants, bro. And that's my opinion on that. Now they used to. Man, what the hell is this, man? It's all shut the hell down, man. Oh, dang. They shut the whole freaking lakefront down? Damn, bro. What the hell is happening here, man? When they did that? We gotta act like we're going in this raggedy restaurant. I wonder why. They got people, but I don't know how the hell they got them. They're going from the other end by you and up. Dang, bro. That's a far whole was. loop. New Orleans raggedy, bro. That's what I've been this trying to tell you. This is a half a mil milli. Yeah, they got a Piggly Wiggly on the West Bank. Yeah, old Piggly Wiggly, man. Sh Joe's Crab Shack. That's what I was thinking of. Yes, Landry's used to be Joe's Crab Shack. Now, Joe's Crab Shack was good. I mean, look, it's not bad food, but it ain't like, oh, man, I need to get me some of that. Nah, bro. Hell no. Nah. How the hell am I getting out of this joint, man? I told y'all New Orleans ain't worth nothing, bro. Y'all don't believe me, man. Like, y'all ain't got me stuck out here. And a 9 o'clock props on Q93. Yeah, y'all remember that? <laughs> we used to play that on the wow. bus on the way to school. 9 o'clock props, yeah. <clears throat> Let me see a little bit. The uh, road's crooked in New Orleans. That's what I'm saying. It makes my vision off with the camera. <laughs> Why did it off with the road? Everything's crooked. Let me see how they're going, bro. Looks like they're going low. The hell? Actually, let me tell y'all this, what I was surprised about. I went to the quarter for the first time in a long time. Yeah, we went the other night. Well, the other the night. night. A couple and weeks ago, huh? Yeah, it was like two weeks ago. I was shocked, I guess, with the whole panorama, you know, and everybody wasn't allowed in there. Oh, uh, po po. That they would had the time to clean it up and, like, do some repairs and stuff. And I was really shocked that the smell of, because that... The French Quarter, for anyone that doesn't know, has a very horrible, distinct smell when you go out there in the past. The smell has been cleaned up. Now, how long that's going to last, I don't know. I don't know, but for right now, that smell is not there. Yep. For right now, everything's good to go out there. <laughs> that's awesome. Hope it stays that way. Shout out that. <laughs> While Wayne was <laughs> Y'all remember Wild Wayne on Q93? Wild Wayne, no. Oh, they bring it all the way back. That's way back. Oh, your phone died. Damn. That's all right. I'll just read the comments from here. Hey, what's up, little savage? They dug up the street and cleaned the sewers. Is that what they did? <clears throat> they did something to get it together. Yeah, they did. I was shocked. It's time to get the hell out of New Orleans. Yeah, like French Quarter used to smell like throw up. Pee. If you could imagine your refrigerator with all your food rotting out, I ain't even go that far, bro. In the house in hundred degree weather. Nah, you going far? For so like that. two weeks, that's what the French Quarter would smell like, and beer mixed in. That. <laughs> I'm serious. It was bad, but I don't know about that bad. 
It was pretty bad. I put the charge on my phone, basically. I have a charge for the kids. I would imagine I'm pretty charged. Smell like a bar bathroom. Yeah, like it didn't smell good. Yeah, it was like a smell. Like it, when you went out there, you come home with that smell stuck to your clothes and your hair. Yeah. You'd have to immediately go home and wash it off because you would just smell like the front door. Oh, Lord. Yep. Trying to read the comments. How far, far are you from a Cajun Cowboy? Five minutes in any direction. blurry. That might be because the windshield is kind of... Got... Turn it back on us then. Alright. We just drive to the house now. We just did a long tour now. Alright. We've been on here for a little minute, minute. Is that better, y'all? Who remembers Kenny Key West? I do. I had many oh. a nights in Kenny Key West, bro. Many a nights. Oh, bro. God. Here we go. Boy, Can... I used to come at Kenny Key West when the sun was coming up, bro. I'd be coming out, bro. Here we go. We got to hear about Ralph's old stories with his exes. Oh, man. I had some times there, boy. <laughs> old Fat City, man. I tell y'all what, boy. I'm loving the shirt, Ralph. Thank you. Man, old Kenny Key West, boy. That was something else. Man, I don't know what happened to, to Fat City. You I got a happened? fake ID to get in there. They, uh... The they swamp. put in their coordinates or whatever you have it, but the new laws and regulations said that they couldn't be open, you know what I'm saying, until... After midnight or something like that, and there's everything shut down. Y'all remember girls, girls, girls out there? And, uh, <laughs> Ralph was living his best life. In Fat City? Had a butt ass on. Every good man man has a juicy ex girlfriend story. That's right. <laughs> she was all right, Brandon. I ain't gonna hate. She was all right, okay? Right. That's all the credit I'm gonna give her. She was all right. Says, you ever see her nose? I was a I was old pimp back in my days, boy. I tell you. Says who? Says me. Oh, whatever. In your freaking head. Shit. Everybody get your roll on. Man, y'all going way <laughs> back, bro. Oh, God. Way that was the good old days. When things were simpler, man. I can't read this the same as all. <laughs> you didn't get it. I said, he was cute. Oh! I'm sorry, y'all. I can't even barely read these comments on this screen. What is driving? I guarantee it. <laughs> I guarantee it. Really? Oh, really? Really? Okay, I'll be like, can I take you home? I'll be like, really? Okay. Quickness, boy. With the quickness? Take hey. you home quick? Just quick. You are such a liar. I'm going to go enjoy myself at the club, man. Next thing you know, I'm ready. I'll go home somewhere else. Well, nothing I can do about it. Man, your phone needs to power on because I can't read on these bumpy roads. I'm sorry, guys. The fact that Sarah can acknowledge that he has an ex shows how much. Wait, hold on, I can't read it. You trying to hit the bumps on purpose so I can't read these comments? Huh? No, I slow down. Hold on. All right, wait, hold on. I gotta read with my one eye. One ten mile an hour. I don't know what that said, but I think it was a compliment to me. <laughs> so thank you. Y'all, we've been together for how long? I don't know, 20 years. Tw almost 20 years, our, my whole adult life. I mean, everybody's got exes, so I can't I get retire. mad at them. I retired as a, as a pimp in my very uh, young age, you know what I'm saying, y'all? But it was a hell of a time while I lasted, my friends. Oh, okay. I had a hell of a run there, boys. Really? Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, I don't get mad. Now, I mean, we ain't gonna sit here and reminisce about his exes and all of that now. But yeah. we ain't about to do all of that. Never know how to talk about him. That boy ain't going nowhere. I ain't worried about him. <laughs> it's Sarah's face. <laughs> it's his. It's his world. I just live in it. I'm gonna let him tell his story how he's how he remembers it, even if it's not accurate. Yeah, that is accurate. <laughs> I'm dying over here. I'm telling y'all, man. Tell Ralph to tell us some fighting stories. Fighting who, stories. A fighting with who? Fighting with people, his exes, or me? We just had a broad range of conversation. I don't know who they're talking about. Oh, wait, let's say. 
Ralph said, call me boy one more time. All of them. Oh, God. He seems like he was a fighter. No, was, Ralph's was not a, a fighter. fighter. I mean, I got in my fair share of situations, bro, but I, I wasn't really a fighter, bro. I, was too, I told y'all I was too busy being a pimp. Yeah, so Ralph's always been a lover, not a fighter. From the girl having a dude, bro, I didn't know about it. I was an innocent victim. Ralph's boy, a bar fight story. <laughs> oh, God. We might get in trouble on yeah. YouTube. We had a few of those, bro. But I mean, there was a couple. What's up, guys? But I'm really just a nice person. You really, really, really got to test me, bro. I mean, you got to push me and test me, bro. It's Ralph's so never been a starter of a, of a fight, though. We almost had an issue the other night, speaking of that, bro. You know, what the hell you know what it was about, bro? You don't want me to tell you what happened? The dude knew who I was on, on YouTube, TikTok, whatever. It was weird. And what you start to notice is, bro, is that... <laughs> the people, bro, be trying to get you out your character and try and film you and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's what it was. That's mm -hmm. what it was. So you sitting there and you pushing me, bro. You got your friends recording and shit, bro. And you pushing me and testing me and pushing me and testing me. I've been drinking tequila. Yeah. And they do it, bro. Just, I don't know why. Maybe so they could post it on YouTube, post it somewhere. I don't know, bro. But that, that shit almost went down, bro. But I said, you know what? Let's just leave this ball, man. This shit's going bad. Yeah, I agree. You both seem like you're nice, humble people. Thank no, you. We're nice, man. We just chill, but yeah. I mean, who wants to go? So out I can there imagine. And I, I'm I'm just a small TikTok, a small TikTok, a small YouTube chill person. If I got to deal with that drama, bro, imagine what big ones got to deal with, bro. They probably get smacked in the head and stuff, bro. <laughs> or Ralph unleashed the Baker fam on them. <laughs> Man, bro, I'm telling y'all, man, they were testing me, man. And next thing you know, we all getting in front of the ballroom, bro. And it wasn't good, man. It was not a good situation, bro. Weird thing was, bro, is that he bought me a shot, bro. And then he turned weird, bro. You gotta let them hands fly on occasion. <laughs> you, you, you do, unfortunately. Every nine in the blue moon, bro. You don't want to go that route, but it's like... No, because you know why? People don't have things to lose, so when they think that you have something to lose or know that you have something to lose that they could use against you or humiliate you with and they yeah, want to they take it don't know me. I'll come and be like, look, YouTube it's family, weird. TikTok family, bro. We had an issue go down. Yeah, I smacked them down. What's up, guys? But it was not, it, it was nothing I could do to resolve the situation besides smack them down. And so that's what I did. But that didn't happen. I just left the bar. It was Show weird. up a thousand people deep. Yeah, man. It was like, bro, for what we doing all this for? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mess around and hit him with a stick of butter. <laughs> <laughs> Mess around, throw some salt and pepper in his eyes, some seasoning in his eyes. He's about to go. Seasoning. I'm cold, man. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Look at you got him hands on him, too. Man, I, but I don't, I'm, I'm just, I'm a, really just a nice guy. I don't like do all that. I like to laugh. I go out, I don't go out to fight and all that. I like to go no. have a good time. You know what I'm saying, y'all? If you see me out, you're going to see me having a good time. They said bring the all purpose paddles. <laughs> For real, bro. You ain't lying. Smack them down with <laughs> But it's weird because then a lot of people see you. They just want to take pictures or, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Or something like that. Or, hey, how's it going? Then you get some weird ones, bro. That, that's... Yeah. It's weird. <sighs> TSP, I got... I seen it's you crazy. sent the email. When we get off live, we're going to check that out and we'll respond to you. I appreciate that. Yep. Um... Let the good times roll. Y'all like my adopted family. Oh, that's we awesome, Brandon. You, um, this thing of butter was classic. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man. When's the next big Jenga rematch? I know. <laughs> oh, we need a. I want to order. Is that expensive, that big old game? Probably maybe $100. That ain't expensive. I want to get one of those. That'd be fun. Even it's if, only like... 6 million YouTube views, okay? <laughs> no, no, it's more than that. It's more than that. Three dollars for a million views. <laughs> oh wait, so you're saying we gotta get six million views before we go buy Jing? More than six million. We got three dollars for a million Ooh. views. We need a hundred dollars. What's that, Frank the Tink? About, about forty million views away from getting that. I'll be your bodyguard, Gerald said. Gerald, this shit was ridiculous, man. It's like, man, I'm out there to have a good time, bro, and just chill out, have a good time, and these fools, man. Yeah, it was so weird. It was like he walked up to you. And he wasn't a young guy. He's right? like, I know who you are. You YouTuber, TikTok. Yeah, he was like an like, older you... guy. Not old, but older than us. Like, probably the conversation guess, goes 50, like this. Yeah. Here's how the conversation goes. It was weird. Dude was like, yeah, you got all them followers on YouTube and TikTok. I know who you are. Nice guy. Oh, you can't play music. Shit. So, nice guy. No problem. Talk. I'm, I'm a nice guy. All right. This is live, isn't it? Wait, hold on. Might be back. 
Right. We back. Let me know if we right, back. We back. All right, we back. We back. So the old dude was like, "Yeah, you got all the followers and all that, but I got all the money." Yeah, and you blessed, dude. That's a blessing, right there. He's pulling out a big old wad of money and all that. Man, that's a blessing, man. This dad, let it go. He's like, "Yeah, I got a Rolex on. What you got on, bro? I got this Michael Kors watch my wife bought me." Laughing and shit, you know, laughing. Hey, what's your problem, dude? I said, what's wrong with you, man? No, I'm just saying, you got all the followers, but I got all the money. I said, I told you, man, you're blessed. Congratulations. Why? Right, it was so weird. Like, what's like, the you competition? blessed? Congratulations. We ain't in competition, my man. Good job. I'm glad you got all the money. All right? You're blessed. All right? Leave it down. And he's going on and on and on, bro. He's getting in my face and talking, bro, and... No, then he wanted to do a coin flip for a thousand dollars. Yeah, he's like, let's flip a coin for a thousand dollars. And he's like, counting out a thousand dollars. And I'm, I'm like, that's when I was like, boop, hold up, swallow up, peace out, we out of here. I knew where it was going. I was like, but it's like, the old dude almost wanted to be in competition, like we was in a competition. And I'm gonna be honest with you, y'all know anybody that's been in the RTB family long enough knows I've been a millionaire, I've been poor, and I've been in the middle, I've been everywhere. I got friends that are millionaires and I got friends that are poor, okay? And I can guarantee you something, bro. I'm gonna tell you something right now. My rich friends, I ain't got that many of them, but the couple I got that are millionaires and multi-millionaires, that's about two of them, they don't tell you they rich, bro. They no, hell no. They, they don't even, want people to know they They don't rich. even have to say it, bro. You can see it. They ain't gotta say it. Right. They wear $60,000 time pieces, bro. They, they know what it is. You know what it is when you see them, bro. This old dude, bro, was just, he was looking, I don't know what he was looking for, but he almost found it, bro. And I was like, man, you know what, bro, let's get on out of here, man. Yeah, it was so weird. It was weird, because, you know what I'm saying, he kept on We've saying, you got all the followers. have never ran across anybody like that before. Yeah, it's like, you got all Normally the followers, people are like, oh, it's money. nice to meet you, shake your hand, and move on in life. It's not, it was just so weird. Now, see, I'd have been wrong if I'd have just took his money from him, bro. And said, since you got so much, let me get it. But, you know, I don't do all that, bro. Sounds like a toxic personality. He was a toxic. Like, it was son. weird. It was, he was it was, intoxicated. It was just, I, I don't even know if it was that. Because he was just arriving to the bar. That don't mean he wasn't drinking before then. But it was a weird circumstance. Because, okay, you got all the money and I got all right, the Right, and he just, like, walked up to you. We were actually outside the bar smoking a cigarette. And we were, like, in our little group not talking to anybody. And he approached us. Huh? So it wasn't like, I could see if Ralph's out there, like, trying to showboat and, like, count all kinds of money, like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And so, you know what I'm saying? And, like, dudes trying to I mean, check bro, I had some rolls of quarters in my pocket, too. I could have busted out some rolls of quarters. Even though if you were, it's not his business. But I'm just saying, it was like, where did it even come from? It was weird. He might have had the hundos, bro, but I had some silver quarters in my pocket. I guarantee it. At least ten dollars worth. He was a bragger. Haters it, are everywhere. It, it was ridiculous, though, y'all. Especially to be at his age like that, bro. It's like, dude. He's that male groupies. I don't know, because it was pretty early in the night. He didn't see... If he was, like, really drunk, we have no idea. He didn't seem, like, stumbly or slurring or anything. I mean, it was early in the night, and he had just arrived. It was weird. It was weird. I don't know. It's like he kept yeah. saying, I, you got all the followers, I got all the money. Okay. Congratulations, brother. Right. What do you want me to say to that? Right. What, what, okay. What, like, I ain't mad because you got money. You got money. Well, that's, that's a blessing, brother. Right. I mean, like, that's a good thing. We don't want to see nobody do right. bad. We want to see how they're struggling, man. We want everybody to do good. Keep it rolling around the deep end. <laughs> I was like, bro, dude's tripping, man. I don't know. So, I don't know, bro. People are weird, man. People are... He was, looking, hoping, he was looking for a payday, hoping Ralph would jump out of his skin. Yeah. Probably I don't so. know. It was weird. And he's like, let's flip a coin for a thousand dollars. No, it wasn't, it wasn't that he wanted me. He had... It wasn't like that. It was he pinpointed out. Ralph, and it was like nobody else was in the room. It wasn't like that. It was weird. Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. It was like that. Ralph was his target. Yeah, he even went. He at first he was nice. He bought me a shot, but I don't know what it would have. What is? I don't. Know, it's weird. Maybe he's trying to get you drunk so he thinks he can get out, get you out your money. Get me out my money. I ain't got nothing for you to get me out, bro. <laughs> Guy has money in no friends. No telling what was going on. He probably ended up in jail. Probably. 
Probably. The devil's uh, always plotting. That's true. I was like, man, let's get the hell out of here. So we went down the road to another bar, and then we ended up in the French Quarter. But, you know. What's up, Annie girl? It's a weird circumstance, bro. You, you come across some crazy folks, man. But most of the time when I'm in the store and stuff like that, and people see me, they either just say, hey, can we take a picture? Or, hey, man, I see you on YouTube or TikTok. Yeah, they just shake you. Awesome here. to see you. Nice people, and then I get some crazy ones, bro. I wonder, I think they want to kill me or something. I don't know sure what's going he on. Was, I mean, maybe he was sweet on Ralph, but that's an odd way to show It's it. an odd way to be sweet, bro. <laughs> that's an odd way to be flirty with you, baby. Yeah, you disrespecting my $300 watch. <laughs> pulling out your $15,000 watch. I'm paying with quarters, and you pull out a lot of hundreds and tell me you got all the money? Well, give me some. <laughs> right? I mean, you told me you got all the money five times in a row. Well, what you saying? You want to give me some loot? I can use some if you want to give it up. <laughs> y'all be safe. You can't hide who y'all are when y'all are out. No, it's just, it's, it's, it's weird, man. It's, now I've only had that happen one time. Everybody else been cool, man. And, and actually, believe it or not, that's like a little neighborhood chill bar, like where people usually go, like after work or something, they get a little beer and some like wings or in a burger or something. Like it's not like a club, it's like a sit down. I'm gonna show y'all where it is. I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm about to pass up the bar. It's show actually a pretty decent, normal, good crowd. It's called Gennaro's. Yeah, it's the oldest right bar in Metairie. Yes, yeah, the oldest bar in Metairie. But, bro, I don't know how it escalated. We're having fun, too. I will say the circumstance escalated fairly quickly. Almost instantly. Almost weird. instantly, bro. I think because he kept telling me that over and over. And eventually, bro, it did strike a nerve on me. I ain't gonna lie. But I was like... Cause yeah, but I think people try... Like, in situations like that, they may feel like they could put you on the internet or something and think like they could... You know what I'm saying? Like they cancel all, you or something? They must don't know the bacon don't give a damn, bro. If I'm holding down, bro, I'm holding down right here, right now. I'll tell you pull out your camera. We've got to have this on. Let's get this up down. Yeah, Ralph would be like, yeah, everybody. Yeah, like, everybody. Y'all want to see what happened? I'm going to show you right now. I beat them down right here. <laughs> That's what he wanted. Turn around. Let me show on that bar. I'm going to show you the bar right now. I'm going to show you where we were standing that night. It was weird as could be, man. All right. So we was at your narrows right there. Hold on. I'm going to pull up off of Yeah, one. bears next door. Uh, they're, I don't know. They're supposedly like have the best po' boys. We've had them a few times. They it's are definitely right. not the best. I can guarantee no. you that. That's, it's all that's, right. It's not bad, but I would not recommend my people to go there and grab. Like, you got to go get one there either. All right, so this is Gennaro's, y'all. I'm going to show you where we was. <laughs> Ralph is like, make me viral, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I keep testing my, my baker skills, bro. Right? And I'm going to show you what these bakers do. All right, and, so this is the man, bar. you had a fight go down. Look, this is the bar. Yeah, that's this the is door. The bar. Now, that's the door. Oh, wait, look, watch look. this guy. I see him. Look, we way over here on this red table, bro. Yeah. We, oh, ran, we here. right here. Now flip that camera around. We way right here, minding our business, y'all, chilling, having a good time, relaxing, having beverages. Now, man, maybe if you would have went viral in that situation, you could have ended up, like, on a Jay Paul fight. Yeah, I don't want to hurt nobody. That ain't it. <laughs> I'd have hurt that old man, bro. I, I'd have hurt that old man. I don't want to hurt nobody. I'm just, I'm not a fighter, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, quitter. <laughs> no, man. I don't like to hurt people, bro. Might have wanted to bag you financially, make a buzz deal, but was arrogant. Well, maybe that's what it was, but I, I got people that, that want to get a restaurant for me. I got people that want to do a food truck, bro. I got people to back now. And they ain't talking family. People know. But. I don't want to hurt nobody, bro. I'm, I'm a lover, man. Don't make me bust out my rolling pin. <laughs> bro, I, I mean, look, you'd have to do something. You, you'd have to either touch me, or as if not, you'd have to really disrespect my wife to make me come out a real character. I like to think that anyway, because I really don't like to be like that, y'all, honestly, truthfully. I'm just a nice guy, but I'm on the same token. I'm human, too. You're only going to push me so far. But, but I, you I know, like when you go out with people drinking, it's kind of the rest you take. Yeah. Some Honestly, people look for problems, bro. Yeah. Some people, you know what I'm saying? They'd have a good time, you know? <laughs> you might, might as well go ahead and sit Jake Paul down one time. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, I'd fight Jake Paul. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Wait, stop. <laughs> stop, bro. Yeah, fight him on the street or fight him in the rain. Wouldn't matter to me. I'll bust him up. <laughs> Especially next to the police station. Yeah, yeah. That is literally under the bridge from the police it was, station. It was weird, bro. Believe me, one thing I got, my best friend's a lawyer, bro, Gerald DeSalvo, bro, best criminal lawyer out here, okay? So I get into a criminal issue, I guarantee you, I got that taken care of, you know Oh, that. yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have been That ain't issue. no problem for the big guy, I, my best friend. What if he would have beat you up? 
That bitch wouldn't have, he would, y'all don't give me curse Don't nah, curse me. He wouldn't have beat the bigot on, I guarantee it, bro. I ain't gonna, gonna say I'm the bad guy. He might have gave me a black eye. And <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have recognized that son of a gun by tomorrow. That's a pay per view I'm purchasing. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd fight Jake Paul, bro. I can't, y'all think I wouldn't? Give me, I'd say, look, give me three months to train. I don't need no six months to no, you. Give me three months, bro. Three, wait, so you gonna cut the training time in half? Three months, I'll bat him down, bro. <laughs> Smack him around that ring, bro. <laughs> that Rob is not a fighter. I ain't a fighter. I really ain't a fighter. I, I really just, I ain't like that. I don't want to see anybody hurt. I love people. I want to see people Harley? do good. You know what I'm saying? I'm just really not a fighter. I don't like to see, I don't even watch videos with people getting beat down. and I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like it. Same token, I've had my issues. I ain't saying I'm innocent by a long stretch. I I like to think I never started nothing, but sometimes you got to finish things. But are you driving a Prius? <clears throat> no, we drive a Chrysler. I wish 200. we was driving a Prius, cause ain't that like a gas saving car or something? Speaking of that, we got three bars. That's what I need is a Prius, a smart car. I need to go on live and tell Jake Paul I'm gonna smack him down when I see. <laughs> Rock out with you. <laughs> I can't say it on live. <laughs> Y'all crazy, man. <laughs> right, Give me that fifty dollar ticket, just so it could be a draw, <laughs> for real, huh? Smack it's me. always a draw. It's aggravating. Nah, nah, that's stupid. I, hey, if I ever y'all see me talking about a fight, and you gotta pay for a ticket, it's going down, bro. Even if I get knocked out in the first round, bro. <laughs> Wait, they said you seem like more of like a WWE special move as the Cajun Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> boy, y'all stupid, boy. Boy, y'all crazy Cajun hell. Crunch. Nah, I, I don't really like fighting too much, bro. I mean, yeah, we did watch the Conor McGregor fight yesterday. We was rooting for Dustin. Although it really, I mean, I used to love McGregor, to watch McGregor fight, and he's entertaining. So whether you want him to win or lose, it's a good. It's usually interesting. Your wife fight. was in my DMs. She probably <laughs> that was. was funny. Bro. She I probably. Was dying. Bro, your whole legs hanging off. You're like, bro. You know what? <laughs> That's why she was in my DMs, bro. Son of a <laughs> And his whole legs hanging off and stuff, bro. You talking about his wife and your DMs? I'm like, damn, bro. Uh, I'm gonna promote you. Yeah, I, I'm down, bro. I, I would I'll do it. I'll do it with somebody smaller than that. <laughs> oh, we did watch it. Man's angle was turned into dust. Now it did mm -hmm. suck mm -hmm. that, that happening. Bro. Cause I want I don't want that to happen uh, to nobody. Well, that's but bad. Dustin was giving that man a beat down. Now I had would it have continued? Would it have turned oh, into a knockout? Continued, Dustin had ten more so. seconds. Honestly, had he start to get his beat down, ten more minutes, ten more seconds, or twenty more seconds ahead of time, he wouldn't have broke his issue all the way, bro. Because he'd have been down and wouldn't have been to get up. Yeah. So it really would have been a blessing for him to just get beat down right now. <laughs> that angle literally says, "I'm about to end this man's whole career." <laughs> oh man, that hurts, bro. He is. Dustin's a good dude. He seemed like a humble dude. So, you know, you always want the good guy to win. McGregor does bring the entertainment value because he trash talks and he makes shit interesting. So, it was definitely an entertaining fight. Yeah, no doubt. Now, this is the question. Do y'all think that Dustin really checked his... what Check? It's called leg check? Yeah, leg check. A leg check? Do y'all think he really did do that? Did y'all see a leg check take place? That's a good question. That That's is bad. the debate. That's the great debate right now. That I think Dustin and McGregor is going about right now. Did he do it? He's like, I check laid, checked you, bro, and I felt the fraction. Yeah, ooh, that's what got him mad, ooh. and he started talking about his wife. That's ooh, what that got him hot, bro. That's like, no, I broke my own ankle, mother effer, and your wife's in my teeth. Uh, uh, <laughs> and, then, and then did y'all see his wife flick him in the bird and all that? He did 100%. Mm -hmm. Um... Man, your food book is going to get me get one more sell next month. Thanks, brother. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. The people's elbow. Connor got what he deserves being greedy at the mouth. That's right. Why Jake Paul had to say, bro, that $50 million just went down to $23 to fight, bro. That's what that's said. I was like, damn. All right. Someone said, all right. Pong Boy said, yeah, he did 100%. Mm -hmm. Much love from Canada. What's up, Canada? Um, he said, Dr. Stoppage TKO. I was laughing. <laughs> he kicked up high on him than me. 
I mean, whether he did or didn't, kind of took that big boy out for the series. So, yeah. I mean, it's true. However, that would give, I think, because I even personally think Dustin was disappointed in an ending like that. Because I think Dustin genuinely wanted to fight him. He said and, they're fighting again, whether it's on the street or in the ring. We're going to fight again. That's what he said today. It might be on the streets and it might be in the ring, but we're going to finish this up. And all breaking his other is, leg. All he's got to do is kick him. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> oh, my God. Big cry, baby. What's up, Australia? Man, that fight. It was some good fights, bro. But I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I pay for fights. I have no problem paying. But I ain't gonna lie. I kind of didn't this time because they wanted a undo. And I was like, bro. I'm... You can't say that okay, on YouTube. Okay, I can't say that. All right. You're in trouble. I paid for the fight. Connor just needs to retire and stick to his whiskey commercials. <laughs> Yeah, lying. <laughs> they never wanted to end in an injury. No, no. you know, because it's like then you That's really terrible. it's hard to take the crud, even though Dustin well, deserves. I mean, now luckily it's kind of like they said though. Now instead of it being like Dustin gets a victory, no, right. all the eyes are on that injury. Exactly. That's what everybody's talking about. Exactly. So it took his it took his uh, moment away from him. Took it. Plus, it feels like then he, he said didn't his really wife was win in the DM. It. See that that stuff. Poor Dustin. He man. went down. But his wife might have been in the DMs. We can't put that on her. Hey, bro, dude does dress sharp, bro, with them that suits. That don't matter. That don't always get a girl's attention. Guys don't know what we're Got them $100,000 watches no. on, bro. Money counters in the suitcase. <laughs> How you get in trouble for that, Hondo? <laughs> no, I mean, like, in trouble for because of the... You know what I'm saying? Like, the monetization. Like, There's certain yeah, like things not, we can or can't talk about, or it... Demotinizes Ralph. Yeah. It's like they're like, getting struck. Y'all get what I'm saying? I'm sure some of y'all did that, bro. Not everybody had that hundo, bro, at the moment, bro. Like, y'all, somebody gotta be like me, bro, and be like, I gotta see this, but I ain't got that hundred right now, but I gotta see this, so I gotta go to alternate alternate route with this situation. The whole card was good. I was on my toes all night. Yeah. <laughs> know which one I didn't like out of all of them? The <laughs> he said roses are red. My lights are dim. McGregor is mad because his wife isn't in the DMs. <laughs> Why hey, are you it, bro. I do that for movies. Ralph and Money, my new WWE tag team favorite. I'm telling you, bro. YouTube is so sensitive. It is, for real. It, it's getting worse. And it's getting worse. Her. It's getting worse. I'm bro. saying, Dustin's wife was talking crap last fight. Maybe she was in the DMs talking crap to him. I'm just saying, McGregor. Pull out the receipts. You can't talk mad trash. Well, I seen something pop up on the gram. No, day. no, 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 no. I don't want to see nobody else popping up. I want to see McGregor pop up the receipts. I want to see nobody else do their Photoshop. If you talk a mad game, and it's true, well, I just she, figured he said that because he was so she's mad. She's a fine little thing, too, boy. Ah, I mean, I'm just saying. It ain't like she ain't a very attractive young lady. Me and that dude took a beat and it kept coming for old Molly. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Let me put it on here. I'm just saying she's quite attractive. That's all I'm saying, okay? She Seriously, had a nice why little... why else would she be in the DMs? Is she all... <laughs> yeah, right? All right. What do you think about the, the Mayweather and Jake Paul fight? No, Logan Paul, right? Wasn't it Logan Paul? Yeah. My thoughts on that, bro, was... And I, and I know y'all ain't gonna like my thought on this, bro. I, I, I gotta be honest with y'all. Logan Paul took him down, bro. Nah, no, I ain't gonna say he took him. I'm gonna tell you why I state that. Cause That's if you the greatest, if you if you the greatest fighter, boxer of all times, you supposed to be able to finish that dude quick, like, bro. You are supposed to be able to hit him with that okay, combo. Okay, but let bro. me ask you this, cause I don't know much about exhi what's it called, exhibition. exhibition yeah, he could have knocked him out. Was a knockouts allowed? Yeah, knockouts allowed. Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. Four to six hundred years. It was staged. I could agree with that. I, but I will say, I don't know if it was staged or not. But Logan, I will say, he put on a good entertainment. Like, he was very entertaining in the fight. It wasn't like a boring. I thought it was going to be like a hug match because he's not experienced. I truthfully believe it was staged. Got to leave room for a rematch. Sla yeah. Sleepy McGregor, bro. That was funny. But you know what? He's disgusted for making that chain now that his ankle broke or leg broke, whatever the hell broke. I think he should take that chain and he should Wait, put a did you cast see? on it. Did you see what he did? No. Did you see what he did today on that tweet? No. What the he said, let me know. 
I'll send you this chain because you deserve it for taking that out like that. Stop. I'll send you that hundred grand. No, he needs to get on the chain. He's gonna modify with a cast on the leg. No, he said I'll just send it to you at this point. That's how useless you are. Floyd is a legal figure. They need to go blows again. Mayweather Man, y'all know what y'all know what fights was terrible, bro. The YouTube TikTok fights, bro. That was a waste of my money. Sixty dollars, bro. That was that was ridiculous. Which one? Oh, the TikTok YouTube yeah, one? Yeah, bro, that, that was, was like stage like hell, bro. And, and as soon as somebody got hit, they're like, all right, all right, break it on up, break it up, call the fight. They called everything, man. Yeah, that was, uh, that was. Like, bro, I'm going to tell you something. If I ever got in that ring, if I had the opportunity, bro, we're going to war, bro. That's what we're going for. You going to be staging stuff up, bro, when people spending their money on it? Because, well, I'm nah, going to tell you why bro. they stage it. I'm not saying they should. If they don't stage it and make it entertaining, then you're not gonna want to rewatch. It wasn't it. entertaining at all. I would never. Oh, pay not for it again. the TikTok YouTube one. That was boring. That's what I'm talking about. Love from Philly. What's up? What's up, Philly? Yeah, that was pretty bad. I can't wait for Willie to beat Jake's ass. These boys don't be boxing like that for real. Not gonna lie, I loved it when Austin destroyed Bryce Hall. <laughs> now let me ask you this. I heard that that uh, you just said his name. What's the damn name? Austin. Owned the company that was going that's supposed to pay everybody and nobody got paid at the moment, bro. Nah, I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm hearing that no none of the other fighters got their millies or nothing, bro. I don't know what y'all know about that. Has anything changed about that? I don't, I ain't got it, baby. How about you put it in your Has that changed? Do y'all know? Last I Is heard, nobody got paid. No, there ain't no room about nothing. The hell, the light on it. I thought you had it. Uh-uh. Um, I want to see Mike Tyson versus Mayweather. Yeah, that could be something, now. That would be good. Mike Tyson, bro. That'd be, that could be something. Why are refs breaking up stuff anyways? We pay to see what's going on. What's up from SoCal? Your black and seasoning up? is no joke. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it I was like definitely that. not Millie's. Well, whatever it was. I'm saying even if it was millies between all of them, I know they had to make something. Well, what the hell they paid them to do all of that ignorance? It was money. Oh, it was money. They had some... The TikToker people? Yeah, TikTokers and YouTube. There was money on that board, man. They made some money now. Or was supposed to. You picked it up, baby. You had it in your hand. Baby, I, I ain't got it, baby. Just being honest with you. Mm -hmm. on the hey guys, what's up? Don't oh, ain't feeling no damn bro. What's goody, my boy Ralph? Well, what's what up, up, Shannon? Tyson would knock his head off his shoulder. He that might Tyson fight a zero. Sarah. That too. And <laughs> yeah, you got the light up. I'm telling no, you. No, I don't. Stand your butt up and see. Boy. I can't stand up in a car. Boy, boy, boy. This woman here could lose some lighters. I guarantee it. Oh, I do got it. I told y'all, bro. She's raggedy, man. <laughs> I do got it. Um, yeah, everybody, uh, Shirley's been putting in the comments. Y'all don't forget to check out bakers101.com. Yeah, a lot of new they stuff. They got all kinds of new stuff. Ralph put up a lot of his, uh, old, his items that he used to have, like all his baked goods, cinnamon rolls, cakes, and brownies. And all that candy's up there now. Huh? All that candy's up there too. Yeah, and he's got the chamoy up there, the candy chamoy, all that good stuff is on the website. If anybody hasn't checked it out lately, if y'all interested, go check that out, bakers101.com. Shirley's put it in the comments. Um, no, who lost the lighter? Uh, the strawberry shortcake recipe recipe was through the roof. Thank That's you. awesome, Shannon. Yeah, a lot of people's like, don't even strawberry shortcake. What the hell you call it then? Strawberry shortcake as far as I don't know. Oh, yeah. Turn off the windshield wiper. It's probably in their ears. Any advice on starting a YouTube channel, Ralph? Yeah. Um... Honest advice on starting a YouTube channel. Make sure it's something you love to do. And if you want to get a lot of followers or whatever I have you, at your best odds, post up a short video every day for four months. Every day. You only get nine views, three views, 14 views, and you don't yeah. see no action, don't let it discourage you. Keep on going. Because I'm going to say four shorts? to six months. Because YouTube wants to see that you're going to be consistent in the beginning. And... It may take them five months to pick up one of your videos, but then all of a sudden, you get a viral video, and now the game is changing for you. And understand that you're gonna be like me probably, and you're gonna get like 
millions of views a month and make like $800. Like, you're not going to be a millionaire. Hopefully you will be, but if not, you'll be like me. You'll make like $800 off of like 5 million views. And, you know, that's, that's the reality. Thank you, Cowboys. But I would say post shorts. Shorts are very big. YouTube wants to take that TikTok aspect and bring it to YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pay you for it, but it's okay. It's The algorithm is just more open on shorts right now for people. So you're able to get into a, a bigger audience mm -hmm. a lot easier. Yeah. I don't know how long that's going to last because you know they you change the algorithms all the time. So right now, that's initially how Ralph went viral was through a short. He was already viral and had a platform on TikTok. I don't know if that helped or not. We don't, don't really know much. Because I'm going to be you know honest. Why? We don't know the secrets behind the algorithm, okay? We no. really don't. <laughs> I, I kind of wonder if there really is a secret because sometimes y'all use all these hashtags and stuff and your video does terrible. And then sometimes you just like throw it up there and it does yeah. better. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. But what I do know is if you really want to pop off on YouTube right now, I'm telling y'all, put up a short every day or, or every other day keep it consistent if it's monday and wednesday keep it consistent monday and wednesday every day for four to six months now can i tell them about like how um, that doesn't yeah. help them yeah, with that? okay people. so well i don't know i don't know what you what i could i can't say yeah. so let me tell you this in order if your goal is to start a youtube channel and, and it's to become well, we all want to get monetized. Not monetized, whatever you call it, and you want to get paid. You ha The requirement is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. 4,000 watch hours is a lot of watch hours. Yes, it's a lot. Shorts, be any, which is 60 seconds or less videos, they do not count as watch hour time. Right. So all of that watch time will not be applied to your it, it's watch hours but it doesn't apply to your monetization application so let me say this with sarah oh, bringing that point up which was very valid if you want to start a youtube channel put you up a couple of five minute videos up and then now not all the time just a couple of five minute videos like two on whatever you want it to be about and then do shorts as often as you can as often as you can four to six months and because what's going to happen is you're gonna really get. The, you're not gonna get a lot of views on your your loans initially. I can guarantee you, unless you Pop a star off. from above falls on your roof. Okay, but <laughs> is that a popo speeding like that? Uh, roll? No. Oh, but what's gonna happen is people eventually one of your videos is gonna go viral. It's gonna take four to six months. I keep telling y'all that. It's not one or two days, or maybe if if, if like you really Man, get lucky. It, it also could depends happen. on your topic too. Right, it could happen, but so my point is, is that eventually people will start watching. Uh -oh. They'll start Come watching on. the the shorts, and then when they land on your page, they'll watch that long video, and that's gonna start helping towards that four thousand watch hours. Yeah. So the the viralness will help you become known, grow a platform, gain subscribers, and then the goal is obviously to have your subscribers. Well, I don't see go comments watch on my page, bro. Because it wasn't commenting. Oh. <laughs> Um, have you considered sponsorships to help with re revenue? You know, I got 600,000 followers and I ain't never had a sponsorship deal, y'all. Can somebody fill me in on that aspect? Yeah, he gets a lot of... Like, the they want to give reach. me a pot. Give yeah. me a pan. And put me before millions of people. Or give me, like, a, a knife. And then they'll say, like, nah, oh, uh, like, a discount code for people. And then you're nah. basically trying to sell someone else's product nah. to make, a, a, like, a 5 to 10% commission off of it. Which is just basically, the thing that Ralph doesn't like about that, he's not against it. It would just have to be something he thoroughly likes, like the Boil Boss thing. Like, Ralph thoroughly, genuinely liked it. He felt like it was useful, it was purposeful, and that, you know, his people would would probably really like to invest in something like that. The problem is Ralph also has his own stuff that he sells, and then it constantly becomes him trying to sell, 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 sell to you guys. And I think right. that's something that's kind of like, like off-putting. I, like, I mean, look, I'm going to be honest with y'all. If I'm going to take a sponsorship deal, it ain't no less than $1,000, bro. That's just plain. I don't want your knife. I don't want your pot. I'm not a greedy person, but my platforms are not free. You know what I'm saying? And I'm putting my word out there, and the product's going to be good. And they know that product's got to be good. Mm -hmm. I've had a couple of, and I will say I've had a couple of offers. 
And one in particular I could think of, and I ain't gonna say, I'm gonna say it was like a mixer thing. And I couldn't do it because it sucked, okay? God forgive me for saying that's mean. But I ain't gonna tell y'all the product. I'm just gonna tell you it sucked. And so I couldn't do that. It was a good deal. thought and theory that they invented this cooking tool. It was really loud. It was just not good. So if I come on here and make the $1,000, and then y'all go invest, and you're like, Ralph, bro, that thing was loud, dude. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah. it's, it's raggedy, bro. Like, I wanted to do some eggs for my kids got up in the morning. It was clinking and clunking and loud, bro. And it woke up my whole house. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then you don't trust me no more. You're like, bro, that was raggedy, bro. I ain't oh, doing thank it. you, Ben. So you know, yeah, that Magnolite pot. Now Ralph does truth. have like different streams of revenue. Like he has his Amazon store, where he doesn't buy anything, but he'll put up different things that buy he stuff likes. On Amazon, bro. I meant like I meant like we're not selling off Amazon. It's right. like things that like his like Magnolite pot, for example. Someone was talking about. Yeah, love. He that. bought it off of Amazon. Ralph loves that thing. If you ain't got a Magnolite so, pot. I put the link to the to a cheaper one that I found because it's nice. And that's on Amazon. That's in the shrimp stew video, the last video long I did. And let me tell you something. Might that save you a little money if you ain't got that much right now? They're about $100 or some change. Go look at it. But get your Magnolite pot because you can make, man, I just love it. You just got to get used to remembering that you can't just pick up a Magnolite pot. They're very hot. Hot. They don't have like plastic around them. So you're gonna lift up that top, bro. You're gonna know it. But I love Magnolite pots. You're welcome. Okay, so BW keeps asking, what is chamoy? And someone else asks, what is rim paste? Rim paste is like <clears throat> Alright, so chamoy is like all right, rim let's start with rim paste. Rim paste is the easiest one to describe. That's kind of like a melted Okay, so let me let can you want me Sarah to explain can describe it? Right. I can. So it's authentically it's like a Mexican um candy that and i don't know the name i'm sorry guys it's like puppo or something i don't know i'm sorry and it, it's like a chili it's almost got like a chili powder with a sweetness like a taffy almost like candy and you like, like cook that down yeah it reminds me of a when it's all said and done like a melted fruit roll up with like a spice it's usually mixed with tahine um it's like spicy sour and sweet all at one time so you mix that with chamoy sauce, which is like a Mexican sauce, and that is kind of like a mild sweet sauce, like a hot sauce consistency. And you, you mix all that up, and Ralph and came up with flavors. his own recipe. So the rim paste is good to rim your beverages with. Like, you can rim your beers. I like to rim my White Claws with it. It's got like a, that's, and it's like good, like how you would rim a margarita glass. You could do that with mm -hmm. it. Real awesome. Good. I love chamoy personally. It goes great especially with like a beer that type of a of a beverage that's what the rim paste is it's that all melted down it's like a wait they might be saying what it is um tahine is busting that is true so ralph came up with tw to a twist so he has like the authentic chamoy for anybody that's familiar with it and then he came up with a cajun like he cajunized it what is cajun a twist on it, suck he man. put a Cajun twist on it. So he offers like the authentic Mexican version of it because it is a Mexican recipe. Yes. And then Ralph did a Cajun twist on it. Um, they come in different flavors. Watermelon, mango, or you can get like just the regular flavor. Amazing. Then you put it on top of candy. You mix it with different kind of candies like Gushers, Skittles. <clears throat> um, people put All the chamoy on fruits we got yeah i mean we got Water it on the website and and people been phenomenal. ordering it don't get me wrong a lot of people order it but just as many people don't know what it is so people are like what the heck is it man okay I'm thank you <laughs> Kristen might have explained it better chamoy which comes as a dried fruit candy and sauce it's salted pickled sour fruit traditionally made from um plums yum plums which are really sour apricots that's spiked with chilies thank you that might be a way much better explanation than i could give um, y'all seen a rougarou out there? <laughs> no, no, they ain't got no rougarous. That's funny. Um, what type of beers go with it? I drink White Claws. I love it on White Claws. Uh, they, I've they, seen people do it with, preferably you would do it with like a canned beer. I've no, seen, I've seen it on the bottles. It's. I mean, you could put it on bottles. I would just think it would probably, you know, your bottle top is so they small. Do it I've seen them do it. I've seen them do it on Michelob's, on Coronas, on 
I mean, I don't, I'm not a beer drinker, so. I mean, hell, then they take it and they put it on top of fruit. They, yeah, like we've gotten it at um, this cool little shop in Kenner and they like hollowed out a pineapple and then they put like a mango pineapple juice in it and filled it with all kinds of fruit and they put chamoy all on it and it was not alcoholic. Me and the kids tore it up. It was phenomenal. Um, <laughs> Definitely really good. It's something you Corona could try. It ain't, sure. You know, it ain't that. It ain't expensive where you can't try it. You know what I'm saying? It's good. If you don't like it, well, you wasted $15. It'd be all right. But if you like it, then you'll love it. You're either going to love it or not like it. That's the way I see it. So a thousand bucks would let you promote what for how long? Like my channel? Yeah, like another one. Oh, if it's a channel, as long as there ain't nothing crazy, yeah. I mean, I just, I make a video on it and put it on my platforms and and it just stays there. It never goes nowhere. You know what I mean? But it's like, yeah, and I've turned down hundreds of offers on TikTok. My Lord, have I turned down maybe even, a, I don't know how many, a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm just not going to promote stuff for a knife and a fork, man, y'all. These channels have cost me thousands of dollars, which I do love to cook. And people say, well, Ralph, this is the biggest thing I get with well, Ralph. You got to eat anyway. Very valid. Very valid. But the reality is, in real life, I can't afford to eat the way I eat, <laughs> if that makes sense to y'all. Like, I sometimes... I'm like, damn, I got to make a decision. Bro. I'm going to go spend this $100 and make this video because I need to make a video. But I really don't have the 100 so now I got to double down and make money. Like, I live like y'all. Like, some some of y'all got to live people. like me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have 20, 30, 40, 50 Gs sitting in the bank. I tell you that right now. So, sometimes I go spend $100 to make a video. You know what I mean? Like, like so, a yeah. crawfish bowl or something like that yeah. that we might not be necessarily doing because we just want to do a boil. Well, a lot of things. I mean, hell, maybe that day was going to be a breakfast day because we ain't had that much money. Right. Yeah. I mean, we're normal. We're regular. You know what I'm saying? We ain't no Jake Paul around here, man. I know, man. How Jake Paul got so rich off his videos? You know what it is, bro? I'm going to tell y'all what it is, bro. If I want to get bigger, I got to start drama. And I don't like drama. What's that feeling? That's reality. Feel? That's what it is. It is what it is. You got to be messy. You got to start drama. You got to get in the middle of stuff. And I don't like to do that, bro. But, like, that's what you got to do. What, what? Who is that? I don't know. I can't see who's coming through in the text. That's why I was saying. <laughs> you the fact that y'all don't even eat the amount of food Ralph cooks. <laughs> Shirley said. Yeah. So it is what it is, but I do love to cook, so I do it, and we'll see how it goes, and we'll see you how long it goes. You should box Jake Paul. Oh, I wouldn't. Jake knows. Paul would not box you. He's trying to box Broken McGregor. Yeah. You're as big as you make yourself. That's another thing I'll say to any YouTuber. You're as big as you make yourself to be, if that makes any sense. If you can comprehend that. I don't know how to explain it, but that is the reality. You are as big as you make yourself seem. Yeah, that is true. Like me telling y'all I'm just the average person because that's just how I am doesn't help me. But because people want to live, if this makes any sense, like sometimes people kind of live through your videos in different ways, you know what I'm saying? Well, I think that just depends on what your audience is. Your platform has become so valuable and has grown, honestly, in my opinion, because people like that you're real and you're relatable and you're you're just you. You're not this fancy, big product, production went into it. And I mean, I don't think they would care if things got better quality, but you're, you're you. You know what I'm saying? Where these so other people's audiences like that entertainment or that productive productivity whatever you call it you know like the production yeah. behind it you're just you so yeah. do you keep it honest anything else will not work real people yeah i mean that's that, that's the deal y'all you know i mean i don't know i like it i enjoy it but at some point you got to say man it is it's all about hype and if you ain't got the hype behind you and i got no hype bro <laughs> I got no hype, bro. But at some point, it's like, you know, this this, this is what I do. And people say, my man, you, but, but man, bro. You, Wait, this Shirley said, oh, Corey B challenged that box. All you got to do is call out Mayweather. Yeah, right. <laughs> but here's the thing. Okay, like you say, well, how long? Because you got to understand that <clears throat> when you want to do a YouTube channel, can you make it doing a YouTube channel now? I was big enough at the time because of TikTok where I was able to kind of make some funds on the website. And when I'm making money, it's not as discouraging because at least I'm making money to do the videos and live my simple life. But then, like, this last month, it's like, shit, man. 
made yeah, like eight hundred dollars, bro. So struggling, bro. And it's like you think, bro, to yourself. I want y'all to just think. All eight is sixty, y'all. Think for a second. How can someone have over six hundred thousand followers and can't crack a thousand dollars online? Yeah, it's crazy. Can't crack one grand online, bro. Like shit's crazy to me, man. You know what I'm saying? And then you work so hard to get it and be known. And then you can't even make a grand with 600,000. Like, that blows my mind. I tell Sarah all the time, how can I have 600,000 followers? I ain't saying we got to be in a mansion, but, bro, a couple grand a month would be nice. You know what I'm saying? Enough to cover the food and the bills would be a beautiful thing. Right. Like, that yeah, ain't asking for too much. You know what I'm now saying? Now, I'm going to tell you this. for the, Like, and we've been only talking about this because someone asked about a YouTube channel and advice behind it. What people don't know that like don't know us personally and i don't know if it's like this for everybody but social media platforms is a full-time job oh, it's, it's especially for this kind of like thing like cooking it's hard to keep up and stretch yourself then between all the different platforms different content or the same content and making videos and editing videos and you don't have a team behind you i guess i'll just have to call somebody else on <laughs> this is mind-blowing but you you, i want y'all to think about that <laughs> I had How? Been dead. It's the merch, donations, and sponsors. But, but no, y'all, nobody buys merch in this game. Like, you, this is the reality, okay? People are not buying freaking merch. It's like, <clears throat> kids will buy the merch. And I have had some beautiful people, and, and y'all, y'all watching me and liking my videos, that helps, okay? So don't mm -hmm. think I'm talking bad, please. And don't take it that way. <clears throat> I'm just saying. In the real aspect of things, y'all, people don't buy merch. Yeah. When I popped off my merch, I had probably 350 to 400,000 followers. I don't think I sold $300 worth of merch. Yeah. So people don't buy it. And, it, and you know, and you think to yourself, well, you know, they probably like us, you know, y'all. I know everybody ain't rich. We ain't rich. We got all these kids. Like, we ain't rich. Well, and also, it doesn't, It from what I see, it doesn't appeal to, honestly, your like your age, like your age or like your audience dynamic, right. we don't buy merch. Most right. most of your following ninety percent is about our age or older. We don't buy merch. But I think Half I, the time we I, I think a lot of people think that <laughs> oh he's got so many followers and I do get millions of views. I get millions of views every month, and yet have had one decent. I ain't got one decent offer to sponsor. Mm hmm. I now, I do think on sponsors, you have to reach out. I don't think, because you have everybody Yeah, but what do we know about platforms. reaching? What do we know about reaching out? You I know told what I'm you saying? that's why you need a little manager or something. But where do you find a manager? Nobody tells you nothing, y'all. It's a very mm -hmm. hidden game right now. Y'all could ask me anything you want about it. I'm going to tell you what I know, and it may not be much, but I'm going to tell you what I know. See what I've been? Right here. You know, so I'm just being real with y'all and just telling you. I got over 600,000 followers, and I don't crack a 1,000 a month online, bro. And normally I am blessed because I got my website. So I've always said, well, you know, at least I can make some money, which my website was covering everything. You know what I'm saying? My food, my bills. Now we wasn't <laughs> going to no $1,000 dinner, but it was covering. Bro, that website ain't even made $1,000 this month. <laughs> this shit's terrible, bro. It's just, it's discouraging, you know? Trey did say, we appreciate your sacrifice for our viewing pleasure. Thanks. Wait, hold on. He said... If it wasn't for y'all, I'd have to watch General Hospital with my wife. <laughs> no, nah, man, look, I love it. Make yeah. no mistake, I love it. That's how I lasted so long, making nothing, because... And now, don't get me wrong, I used to do really good on my website. I don't know if, if everybody's just broke right now in the last month. I don't know what's going on. You yeah, know what I'm Ralph, saying? Yeah, Ralph, wait, Ralph does have Google AdSense. He does. His channel is my nice. He does oh, yeah. get paid for ad revenue. However, Where's YouTube has... I don't know. I didn't have your cigarettes, but I don't know. Um, Frick, however, it's... However, 1.1 million views paid me $3.17. Because they have not... They were Excuse paying on shorts Please. at one point. And Ralph's most of his... His biggest views are from they push shorts. They're pushing shorts. They changed it recently. Oh, you threw on top of the dashboard. Um, oh, good eyes. For the first time ever. However, they we recently to to changed. Store, I guess I'm on. We will have to live. Um, recently, they changed it, and they're not paying you on shorts like they were. So that like knocked down probably half the 
ad revenue. So if everybody's not watching the, the long videos or watching the ads. And it's not that y'all don't want to watch them. Right. You might but they're not, not see putting them. it before you. Right. They're not putting it on, on that on that page for you to see. So, you know, it, it's it's a rough game, bro. You know, I'll be honest with y'all. It's, it's funny now when I think about back on it. But when TikTok came out, said we're gonna we got a two hundred million dollar fund. We're paying our creators now. I told Sarah, we done made it. Now we're gonna get that back pay, bro. We done made it. Yes, that's true. That's that's no. true, Nicholas Angel. Yeah. So it is about evolving the channel, but it's also about surviving to evolve. Out, well, yeah, that you gotta but survive I'm, to evolve this, y'all. You got the it's full time. And like I said, I wouldn't have made it this far if I ain't love to do it. I'm freaking just we just being real. We like in real RTB mode right now. You gotta freaking survive when you got a wife and all these kids running around. You got to survive. Now, if they're not gonna pay, you gotta be able to sell some product on your website. You gotta survive. You can't be late on your water bill and the water's about to get cut off and you're gonna buy a hundred dollar meal. It don't work. You see what I'm saying? So it's because what I'm in is food, and, and God knows foods went up. Lord have mercy. It's very expensive. That is hard because it is a type of platform like, you know, you're not doing talking or dancing or... Right. I can't just go bring you out to the lake and be like, all right, Baker family, check this know, out. This is... It, uh, it, there's an investment, yeah. So you got to be able to survive it, you know what I mean? And uh, this is very discouraging, We've man. We've tried that, Angel, and that wasn't very successful. It's discouraging because I get like probably five to eight, I'll say five million views a month and... Nothing, man. Nothing. He said you got a thug and shrugish grip on that steering wheel. <laughs> For real. But anyways, collaborations, a great idea. However, collaborations out here in Louisiana are... Nobody wants to do them. Louisiana is very behind on times, especially like other Nobody creators wants to collaborate. out here. It's weird. People don't want to collaborate. Why? I don't know. Smaller channels, bigger... It's like out here, everything's a competition. And instead of, ha like, they really don't, and I'm not down talking creators out here, I'm not, in Louisiana. I think they just don't necessarily know the hustle game behind things, the business mind, because they got a platform and they've never been in, like, a entrepreneurship before. But I will say this. Y'all following, like, the leader, bro. So if I'm sinking, they sinking with me because... Everything... RTB came out with a seasoning, bro. Everybody came out with a seasoning behind me. Oh, Angel. She sent over $100, Angel, and she said, you did not have to do that. I love you, too. Buy AMC. Oh, <laughs> oh you did not thank have to do you. that. Though. We was not on here begging for I money. I know. Though. That was not the top, not the reason for this conversation. Lord, have mercy. We were just saying this because someone was asking about the, the background of YouTube channel. This wasn't like... That was very nice, thing. though. No, you, but don't, yeah, y'all don't feel freaking obligated to do nothing like that. <laughs> but we're just saying, I think a lot of people think once you have 100000 Five hundred thousand subscribers, and they even I thought, man, you're gonna be making money. Maybe not millions of dollars. You ain't gonna be like Jake Paul and Logan Paul, you know. But you're gonna be making some loot. Uh, it's just not the reality. It's it's not. Mm -hmm. Social media is not paying you like that. You know what I'm saying? They just not. I'm telling y'all. Now, let me tell you. If I was getting five million views on my long videos, oh, we'd be rolling. We'd be RTB living in a mansion. Right. Maybe not a mansion, but a damn big. We we could go out and you'd have them big dollars you know what i'm saying but they don't want to pay you on shorts but the problem is is that they do want to take their spot in shorts because tiktok's so big so you see what i'm saying there they're only going to push out my shorts but they're not going to pay me for my shorts but i will get in front of another audience so you got to decide do you want to go in front of more people for free or do you want to turn your channel into like long seven minutes plus so that you can make a couple nickels but then you might get, like my last video, like 3,000 views. Instead of a million, I got 3,000. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you do? Right. It's a tough game. And the collaborations, it's not that it's about them coming to us or us coming to them in person. It's about, in Louisiana, everybody is against each other. Instead yeah, of like everybody, like Ralph was even like, let's do, now that things are kind of cooler. Well, you know, was. Was cooler. Was cooler with the whole panorama ralph was like well let's like get every, like let's get all the creators out here in louisiana because there's a lot especially in the cooking industry and he's like if we could come together and like do an event together and bring all of our fans together this and yeah. that that would be a good way for everybody's platforms to grow and fans to come out or like even like we could all have like a station where we cook i don't know he's throwing out ideas 
And it's like everybody's like so against each other. Everybody. There's not a beef. There's not like an outward beef, no. but everybody's like in their own little circle. And nobody wants to come together. And it's like, why? Why wouldn't everybody want to like, there's no issue. There's no beef. Why doesn't everybody want to rub elbows and network to grow? So collaborations are just like kind of like stagnant i don't know it's kind of weird I, I don't know you know why I, I still don't know why all your big tiktokers and big you a lot of big youtubers are moving to like miami of course california i ain't figured out why the hell they're moving there yet but they do maybe opportunity i, I don't know y'all i i ain't, i by far don't have it figured out um yeah they don't want your audience going to you <laughs> but it's you know, like it's just it's a it's a it's a game like anything, i will say this. any other industry I helped a guy, I won't even say his name, build his channel. He wasn't nothing. And he messaged me and I helped him and I told him and I showed him how to do it. Next thing you know, he had a quarter million followers, 300, 400,000. Because I helped him, told him what he was doing wrong because he was destroying his own channel. And in return, he opened up a website, copied my website and put everything I had on my website on his website. So maybe that's why people don't want to help. Because when you help, you get stabbed in the back. Yeah. I helped him and he stabbed me in the back. Yeah. That's true. You know? So, I, I mean, I guess I understand that. Yes, Brandon, you do need to go to Shark Tank. He's trying to get a patent on his pots and pans, he said. You know, and, and, and you know, here's the thing. <clears throat> I, I I think that, you know, anybody has pots and pans, make sure you get a patent and get it all good. And then reach out to some big creators because we do get millions of views. That is the way of the world, guys, for like if y'all have a business or any kind of business, small, yes. big, whatever. That is the new advertisement is through creators <laughs> on platforms. Screw TV commercials. I they mean, they do help. Fortune, though. They do help. However, I mean, it does put you I can out tell you there. this. I sold so many ball bosses. <laughs> mm-hmm. I sold a lot of bull bosses, but the product was legit. It was good freaking product. It was. And everybody said they loved it. Mm hmm And yeah, I, did, I ain't gonna lie. I taught, and, and it was him and his brother. And honestly, y'all, he gave me a setup, and I told him 500 bucks. Now, my channels were, were a little small at the time, but I sold a lot of bull bosses. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he made But it was back. a good freaking product. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest with y'all. I made 500 bucks, but... It was a damn good product. Mm -hmm. You know, because when you start putting products out there that suck, well, people's going to be like, bro, this is raggedy, bro. I ain't doing yeah. this, man. So I don't know, y'all. I, I, I don't have social media figured out by a long shot. But no, and I think that's something else we probably to to really expand your platform if that's what you, you know, want to continue doing. We probably Sometimes do need to like, like this show, research like, or take classes because that's what a lot of creators do. They go to classes. People saying something. I, I can't say it. Um, Ralph, let's make a line of cookware. Yeah. I'll partner. I have cash to start. I love when y'all talk with us, like, just like we're hanging out with y'all. Yeah, that's what it is. You know, it's like, we're just being real, Brent. Just being like, you know, this is the reality, you know? Yeah, I get five to eight million views a month, but I ain't making no money on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's just being real. That's just is what it is. You would think I would be, but... Now, fool me. I think you out here from the from the way you've been talking about knowing everywhere. So you know we can't do that out here in Louisiana. He's like cooking with a flower would put yeah. you on the map. Yeah, well, how the heck are you but gonna do that I legally? Can't. But you know what's what's the thing is is that like if you got a good product, you can sell the hell out of it. Because I mean I do get to put it before millions and millions and millions of people. But it's like I told y'all. I mean they don't want to give you nothing for it. They just want you to do it for a pot, bro. I don't want to do it for a pot. I need money. I don't need another pot. I got raggedy pots, bro. And I know they're good pots. I ain't calling them raggedy, but, like, I ain't doing it for a pot. You're a multi-million dollar company. You want to offer me a pot? Hey, Tatiana. They're crazy than the hell they are, bro. Oh, we'll send you out our famous cutting board knife. Man, hell with your cutting board knife, man. So you hit them back and you say, look, I'll do it. It's a certain amount of money, $1,000. You don't hear back from them no more. They out of there, bro. They gone, gone, bro. They said the pots don't pay the bills. Pot don't, pots and knives ain't paying the bills. That's right, man. Yeah, you it's know. a hard game. So, I mean, whatever you it's do, hard. do, you got to have the passion behind it. Because it's some, And then, not only that, not only this that. This last month, bro, to be a, and I ain't trying to cut y'all, but this last month, y'all has really, really, really tested me. Like, yeah. be honest with y'all, some days I be thinking about just quitting. 
and going back to climbing trees, man, because how do you stand something and raise a family if you ain't surviving? And I ain't surviving, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I love my RTB family, but at some point, shit's got to get better or what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do, you know what I'm saying? What can I do? Right. This takes me all day, you know what I mean? To do like videos Well, and, and stuff. some of the worst part of it all is the negativity that comes along with having a platform become can become you have to have thick skin oh yeah thick skin and that's why i honestly don't really like to do lives a whole lot with ralph um because some sometimes people are really really mean to both of us luckily this live has been really chill really good. and um sometimes the things that people say on the comment section can really i can't see no damn comments um Maybe go on pro YouTube channel climbing if you ever had your, uh, the med card. Well, we don't have that. Hey, Ralph, you're pretty cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love it. you both. Thank you, guys. <laughs> we appreciate it, man. And we're going to hang in and we're going to see what happens. But this month has been a trying month for yeah. RTB. I'm going to tell y'all. Just everything. It's been everything. rough. It's been rough. When, you, when you're when doing what you love, yeah, you're happy. But, but if Thank it ain't you. paying, bro, it's like. At some point, you might have to go shopping that old saw. You know what I mean? But then it's like, you got to realize, y'all, like, these platforms pick up when you're not posting. Believe me, they do. Ralph can be like my pillow guy. Well, Brandon, you can message him. Yeah. Uh, if you have Instagram, Ralph has a, uh, Instagram, Ralph the Baker 101. Or you can go through the website, and there's a contact us uh, section that will yeah. go to his email. Um, hit them up and see, you know. See what we can do. See what, you know, what your idea is. Um, in January dispensary. Yeah. Do some catch and cook videos with Gator. Yeah, you want to go catch an alligator? Boy, that show would be nice, boy. Hey, hey baby. Um, it's sad that people thrive off of being trolls and saying negative things to good people. It's hard. That is a hard thing because it's already, there's so much work you I kind of got tough this. skin, especially over the time. I mean, Yeah, Ralph sucks, does, but. but there are days where it gets to Ralph. There are yeah, days where it's up. very discouraging and it's like, okay, all you're seeing is so much bad, bad, bad. I do bad. laugh. Sometimes people will write a paragraph cursing at me and stuff hey, and saying this looks like, you know, like, you know, curse words I can't say on here. Hey, and then they write this whole thing saying how it looks like trash and this and that. Well. What they don't realize is instantly mm -hmm. YouTube blocks it from the jump. It's already automatically yeah. blocked. So I could like see what they thing. say because I could see the notification come through. But YouTube instantly blocks it. So if you ever want to say something to somebody, you can't curse. Because if you curse, YouTube picks it up and blocks it instantly. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bro, they just wasted five minutes of their whole life just now <laughs> for it to be going nowhere. Right. Ralph, how did you get into cooking? Just, uh, I always liked cooking. My mama and my mama would, would cook, y'all. And, man, when I was younger, and that's how I got in, just watching my mama and my mama cook. And started cooking and cooking and baking and... Now I can make candy, I can bake a wedding cake, I can cook you some Creole food, some Cajun food, I can do just about anything. Yeah, and a lot, it's it's very common for men to cook down here. You know, I think, I find more in the South, it's just a thing out here, that it's very common for men to be in the kitchen as much as women to have that talent. Um, social media can be so brutal, it's a whole different world. I don't understand why anyone would hate on your channel. Or when y'all are live, I, it. it just it's miserable people, and it's what they say isn't true, but it gets it gets hard to hear certain you know things, so much bad stuff about you over and over. It just gets into you, you know. I don't know. I'm kind of gets you down, and you're like, man, you know what? I'm done with this. But then now, mm -hmm. it's just you. I don't know, y'all. Like these platforms pick things up they either pick you up or they don't if they pick you up you make money if they don't you you don't survive and that that's so they say people give up or, or only last a few months but it's not necessarily that they don't want to make it but if they're not pushing your material out, there's nothing you can do yeah baby because you are some dude are they being rough they, can punch rough them really they got mosquito bugs out there so i'm sorry inside. guys you're an inspiration <laughs> i'm sorry guys the kids are like so, ready for us to go inside i think yeah we're gonna be like three more minutes four more minutes hanging with y'all guys i'm gonna get in with these kids but yeah. You know, you need these platforms to push it. I mean. Well, and that's the thing. It's like any business that you're in, basically nowadays, social media is the way the world, as far as advertisement. So. 
We appreciate yeah. the love. We do, y'all. Thank you, guys. We love y'all. Thank you. I like that Dustin Poirier meme you got on Instagram. <laughs> oh, man. I had to put that up there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I had to put that on him. <laughs> that was good. That but was I, I mean, good. look, y'all. I, I love the RTB family, man. We got some awesome y'all, man. Yeah, we've met we so have, many good. We've made a lot. If of my platform ended tomorrow, let me tell you, man, I have met some beautiful people. I'll tell you, that's the best. That's been an awesome thing, you know, just to meet so many people. And hopefully we're around for Thank a long you, time, you know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Hopefully we're just in a month drought. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? But you got to survive to 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 maintain. You got to survive. You ain't even got to be living a lavish life, but I got to survive. You know what I mean, y'all? Just like y'all. Thank you, Atlanta. And so, you know, I've always been able to survive off my website. So it's like, for once, that ain't happening. And the first week, you're like, okay, well, it's just a bad week. Second week, you're like, all right, well, thank God we got some money. We can we can still pay some bills. Third week, you're like getting panic mode. Now you're in a month. You're like, shit, what is going on? You know, it's just people. I don't know what's going on, but we'll see. See how long we can survive. We'll see if things change. We'll see mm -hmm. what's what. You know, I don't I don't know. You know, uh, we shall see. We'll see where it goes, you know. I feel you on that. Atlanta. What's up, Atlanta? If we'll you see. quit, what would you do? Go back to climbing trees, man. I climbed trees 15 years. I can make a decent living climbing trees. Sarah don't like it. No, you're not going back to climbing trees. That's that's what I would have to do. That's, that's what I know. That's that's what no, I know. No, that's dangerous. No, indeed not. It is very dangerous, but that's what I did for many years. That's what I know how to do. You know what I mean? So that's that's what I would do. I'd go back to climbing trees and just chilling, you know, and... You know, hey, I, I have no problem working. You know what I mean? I'm going to tell you that right now. I busted my ass all my life, man. I've been blessed just so over the last year to be able to have these platforms and cook and hang out and meet beautiful people. So when it's done, it's done. It could be 10 years. Or it could be, man, hey, RTB. I could, God forbid, get it. God forbid, you could see me post it and say, hey, I'd explain to y'all, you know what I'm saying? That, hey, this is the deal, yo. But, you know, we'll see. You know, we're just going to see. You know, we had a month. Maybe it's just a bad month, you know. Ralph's know. Instagram. I'm sorry, someone asked. Ralph's Instagram is Ralph the Baker 101 If y'all ever want to check out all his different platforms and all of his different links that he has, we have everything in his description on YouTube, like his description, channel description, whatever you call it. He's got his different links to his different social medias. Um, we're really bad about putting them in the live descriptions. Uh, but I they're see all comments on there. Moving in. I don't see no comments moving now. Um, keep the channel alive. Can't fault a man for taking care of his family. Yeah, we're gonna see, y'all. We, we're gonna. Doubt. I mean, look, I haven't come this far to get six hundred thousand followers to throw it in rag. You just gotta, you know, you just gotta kind of move with the. Thank you. With the way things go, you know what I'm saying, y'all. You know, you try and you just. It's like anything else, you know what I mean? You just you don't mind struggling, but it's like shit, man. Like I told y'all, first week, you're like all right. Second week, it's like, damn. Thank you, Gerald. Gerald did put out, he said, we need a prayer of encouragement for Ralph and Sarah. We appreciate it. It's just been no, rough. It's, Sometimes and, and, you know, it just look, takes a toll on you. Y'all can only do y'all, y'all can only do what y'all see. You know what I'm saying? They don't push a long video in French, y'all. They don't. It is what yeah. it is, the reality. But, you know, I, I think there's this big misconception that if people have five, six hundred thousand followers, they're they making all this money and it just ain't, it ain't true. You know, unfortunately, you know. Yeah. But it is what it is, and, and we shall see how we can fix it. And hopefully, the channel keeps going, and we're we gonna see, you know. Right, but are we parked in water? Is that why you all the way back through the driveway? If I go up more, we're gonna be in the uh, water. Man, I'm so sick of this rain. What's up, all there, babe? What's up? Hey, baby. We're about to get off. <laughs> Ralph, do you like. Man, I'm super busy, dude. Unfortunately, I know. Me and Sarah keep videos on replay and still don't get enough views. <laughs> we love you guys. Nah, don't I mean, look. to the haters. Thank you, you know, guys. It's all good, man. I got a lot of beautiful people on here, man. Look. A lot of beautiful people. So it's it's uh Dang it, I forgot I ain't a mod on here. Thank Do you guys. Scroll it down block. Hold on, let us block somebody, y'all. We gotta block a raggedy person. There we go. There we go. Just a couple haters coming through. Y'all gonna um, be alright. We gonna be alright. We always alright. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just what you know. Where does this journey take you? And Ralph goes to this. You know, it's kind of like I oh, think this, this one been pretty down deep. Yeah, this has been this the probably been little. like this has been the roughest time since the platforms started evolving. A month. A month is a long time, man. <laughs> yep, we love you guys. Y'all are great people. Thank you, Aaron. We appreciate it. Can you please it. stop hitting that damn car? You got this, Ralph. We we gonna see y'all. We are gonna see, man. It's. It's Thank rough. you, Kevin. It's rough. It is a test. It is, and and you know we have learning to do with it. You know it's harder. You know I think we're always the underdogs too, as far as like learning the algorithm and stuff like that, and knowing how well, to. Well, you kinda, know nobody like, tells you nothing. That. You like you go look at how to build a YouTube channel or what to do. Like it's like it's so basic. It's it's not real. You know what I mean? They get a lot of views, but it's not the reality of what you really need to be doing. You know? Oh, they said my cooking game changed because of your channel. That's awesome. That's what it's all about, man. You know. uh just showing everybody how to, you know, just different yeah, ways Yeah, y'all don't forget, put them notifications on so that when he yeah. puts up videos, y'all get the notifications in case it isn't getting yeah, put in Yeah, if y'all ain't seen that shrimp stew, man, I'll tell you what, go try that, man. That that shrimp stew was something good. That was a real good video. <laughs> you ain't a black or raggedy person. Rob, <laughs> y'all stay blessed, guys. Enjoy the content. Yeah, and we appreciate it, man. Realness. Thank you, Jeremy. We appreciate it, you know. One thing we all is real. <laughs> I guarantee you that. Thank y'all for the best cooking channel on YouTube. Good night. It was. <laughs> good night you have a wonderful night i have seen it that was money it was oh my god that was so good we tore that, that up. freaking delicious you might have to make that again that shrimp stew y'all if you make it once you'll probably make it a week later that's how good it was like i'm telling you like it's gonna mm. take you it's a couple hour meal don't get me wrong it ain't the easiest meal you're gonna yeah, but make even if you time. like if you scratch if you like don't make the homemade um stock. seafood stock shrimp mm -hmm. stock and you buy like a you know what i'm saying like a pre-made stock then that cuts out an hour of your time yeah thank you obi-wan sent over a dollar thank Obi you thank you appreciate you man love the recipes tried many all good thank you miss ginger that is awesome it's always fun y'all it's, it's always a good time man we always have fun like that i said true. that's why we jump live we come on live to have a good time hang out you know Yes, Anthony, them burgers are good. But this, you know, is another thing is that, like, so <clears throat> this is going to be the last lesson before we end this live. But so if you put up longs on YouTube, you have a long video channel, right? If you put up shorts on your YouTube channel, you have a shorts video channel. If you go live on YouTube, then you have a live channel YouTube. I don't know how to describe it more than that. So when you do a little bit of each one, it kind of messes up your algorithm because they don't know. YouTube saying, do I push them to people that like lives? Do I push them to Maybe people that Maybe we want should shorts? only go live on the Baker's Family channel. I like going live because my people's on there. My people ain't going to be on the Baker's channel. Some are. Maybe you could do like community posts. I'm saying so it doesn't mess up this algorithm and you could do lives on that one. Cause, but I don't know, you know. But So they don't know when you do like my channel. They don't know who to push it out to. Do we show people that want to watch a long video? Do we show people that like shorts? Do we show people that like to watch lives? Where where do we... And that's what the algorithm is saying. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot, but I don't know what to do. So hell, I do everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a dumb nut, you know? I, I know everything ain't the me. right answer. But, I know it. But honestly, That's how I roll, bro. But honestly... It's like, if I go down, I'm going down in flames, bro. We're going to do it all <laughs> wrong, bro. We ain't going to do a little wrong. We're going, we going to do it wrong across the board. I follow all of them. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do it wrong. But Ralph does, but Ralph enjoys going live. I'm not a huge live fan because I'm live. camera shy. But Ralph loves going live, so he don't want to not be able to go live with yeah, his Yeah, I don't like that, bro. Like, I want to go live. Oh, thank you, Mel B. Sent you over $5. Thank you, Mel B. Appreciate you. <laughs> He's like a dumb nut. <laughs> crash and hey, burn. <laughs> I'm going to crash and burn, bro. Like, because if I want to go live, because I want to hang out with y'all. I want to go live and hang out with y'all. Yeah, share the share the stuff. You know? Get the get it out there so more people can see and then come and watch. Absolutely. Yeah. And then it's like if I want to show y'all a short because like it was a simple thing. I didn't it didn't need to be that long. Well, I want to show you a short. And then if it's like all right, well this is a shrimp stew, but this is a serious recipe. They need to see this. And then I think it was like seven minutes or eight minutes. It was like kind of long, but not that. Long. It wasn't dragged out. No, I don't feel like any of my videos I drag out. It's mm -hmm. like do this, boom. I ain't telling y'all, right, y'all. So today we're making shrimp stew and the sky is blue. Nah, bro, we're getting no more business right there. But I think I'm just doing it all wrong. Shorts, lives, this, everything, bro. Thank you, guys. Y'all are So sweet. we shall see. Let's go take a ride around the corner real quick because we got to. Before they close. 
So it's all good, you know what I mean? It all work out. It always does, man. What's up, y'all? But I'm known for doing one thing. I'm either take it to the top or crash and burn, but it's gonna be one or the other. I guarantee. You think the kids are gonna kill y'all? I know they've been waiting know, for us to go, come inside. We gotta go around the corner real quick. <laughs> no, Liz is probably gonna start running down the street. Where y'all going? This car better get out my damn way. Take it to the top, bro. We are. So I ain't letting Ralph go down in flames, y'all. I ain't never let that happen yet. Yeah, but you know, when it comes to social media, y'all, my people, I got a lot of, just a lot of people to me in here. You know what I mean? Y'all like friends to me, man. And if Sarah don't put a seatbelt on, I'm going to show y'all what I, I'm playing. But What you going to do? Nothing. What you, that, that's right. But your friends can only help you so much on here if they ain't pushing it to you or showing it to you. You see what I'm saying? And that's the thing about social media. We got to start a beef. <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm about to go call out Stale Cracker, bro. Tell me. Oh, he's nice, though. We can't start a fight with him. Tell him we're going to the box. beat your right. ass. I didn't mean to curse. He's yeah. kind of Nah, man. Very nice guy. He's a nice guy. A lot of people do try and start beef between me and him, but he's a really nice guy. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Names. <laughs> like, he's a really, really nice guy. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I got Ralph's somebody. The flame and Sarah's the gasoline. Yeah. I like that, Shirley. Look, That's a good thing. We can start some beef, but I don't like that, bro. That's, man, what the hell is four o'clock? What time is it? It's Sunday. <sighs> what time is it, Kevin? It is. Stores to be closed. Nine fifty-five. It's what? almost ten o'clock. <laughs> We've been on live that long. No wonder the kids are banging on the freaking car door. Ralph. <laughs> bro, we've been keeping these people on here for hours. <laughs> Wow, I didn't even realize my bad, exactly. dog. My bad, bro. Damn. See, that's why I'm I love y'all live, even on TikTok. I'm commenting on there sometimes. <laughs> oh, catch you! I know who you are, my girl. Damn, bro. We sorry about that, bro. We can't believe it's ten. I thought I had y'all on here for like twenty minutes or they thirty said minutes. They y'all all good. Wow, bro. Well, I knew it wasn't a twenty or thirty minutes. All right, forty-five. Like yeah, something at nine o'clock. We've been on forty-five minutes or something. No, it went on at like seven thirty. I guess I've just been talking and, and getting into deep details and I don't know where the time went, bro. It didn't seem like it been no hours, bro. Jesus. Wow. All right. So, all right. So, they saying get on Twitch streaming for eight plus hours. <laughs> That's what they do over right, there. So, tell me what you do on Twitch. Fill me in, y'all, because I don't what even know what that is. What we got to do on that? Well, I'll do whatever we got to do. Tell me what it is. Tell me how we do this, y'all. Need some help on this. On I've heard Twitch. of Twitch. I've heard of okay, it. Okay, we got 47 nephews and nieces. They can't tell us how to do some they Twitch. Have no idea, Sarah. None of them are on no Twitches. I guarantee it. Okay. <laughs> just live stream literally anything. Really? <laughs> but how am I going to get people to they watch? They said we just letting you vent, man. <laughs> 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 they just let but you know. But y'all, how are y'all going to know if I'm on Twitch, bro? Okay. See what I'm saying? Oh, wait, Charlie says she's going to call us and tell us. She knows about Shirley this. Charlie ain't got no Twitches, man. I Charlie's in the gaming world i know it has to do with the gaming world and then it expanded to streaming really so i can go sit on twitch and make some some loot so all right but brandon like asks, can i feature ralph on a fishing video i don't give a damn yeah you can feature me on a fishing video bro as long as it's fish they said what... talk to them babies they know the way on this media stuff for real we got all these nieces they don't and know, bro. they really don't they're so know. aggravating they don't know nothing they really oh matter of fact we have birders I'll pay him to come out and hunt and fish and then promote my channel. You he go. ain't gonna be able to catch, you better catch everything. I catch some fish, bro. We're gonna have to edit the video. <laughs> like, like Throw you, a hook on, hook a fish like on it, bro. you caught something. <laughs> Hold on, wait, Twitch is a serious situation. Let's I'm talk a gamer, about I'll explain it, Jelly said. Man, look, you gonna blow up on Twitch. I need to blow up on something, bro. Now, some people say it, it wouldn't work for you. I don't know, Ross kinda ignorant, y'all. I ain't ignorant, bro. I'm, I'm cool. What you mean ignorant? I mean on like your lives, not the cooking part. I mean on your lives. Because if any of y'all in here done watch the TikTok or Instagram lives, y'all know how ignorant it gets. We don't get too crazy on YouTube lives, so we don't get in trouble. The TikTok and Instagram lives, it usually goes down. Usually goes down. <laughs> Pink the pink dolphin will take you to the top. Uh, so, so you just sit on there and talk to people? Like I could chill, I bro. Like, it. like I like be like, yeah, bro. I guarantee you. What are we gonna talk about, bro? They gonna be like, man, we wanna talk about no food, bro. Get out of here, man. Really? 
Like, oh, really? Y'all don't want to? And this Twitcher, man. Twitcher? Wait, what you call Snapchat? Snapchat. <laughs> I mean, I got a Snapchat too, bro, but I, don't, I got it. But I don't be having that many people on there. Oh, boy, Trip is saying them all. They said they like when you say, okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me go get a pack what of reds, you, man. you got some. You got some. Yeah, huh? I got that. I don't need none. I'd be like, all right, y'all. New Twitcher in the house here, bro. Facial book. He's got Facebook. Ain't nobody watches him on Facebook. Man, I'm ragging it on Facebook, bro. I got, I, all right, I'm going to tell you all I got. What's up, USPS on Poydress? Chad, we got to come What's through up? and bring you some packages this week. No, USPS, you come bring me the good packages, all right? Bring it on to the doorstep. All you do is streaming and you should cook while you go live. Really? You the man, Ralphie. And how you make money on this Twitch? You mean to tell me? I, I don't know. How do you make money? Are people give you money on there? <laughs> if I'm waiting for somebody to give no, me. No, I'm asking. I'm if doomed how... already if that's what I'm waiting on. <laughs> no, Cloud's just another funny name for social sites. Um, to chat on Twitch is super interactive. Brands are looking for creators. You could be affiliated or partnered with them. Oh, it's just like gifts. Huh. I'll be down. And Twitch is big, y'all? I mean, I know it's big. Don't your homeboy that you watch sit on Twitch a lot? Oh, that's my boy 23 and 1. Yeah, but he's a gamer, I think. No, I think he goes and sits on there and chats with people streaming. And like how you do YouTube lives, like he goes on there and does that. Hell yeah, it's big, bro. Okay. It's the biggest site for streaming. Really? And I ain't been on it. Okay. Coming. Right off the baker. Very big. Damn. Well, but you get a been? ton of donations. How huh. do you get people right. in there? I'll be on Twitch in 30 minutes, bro. <laughs> I just got excited just now. Now we got to Twitch. I'll be twitching in 30 minutes, bro. He said I'll be twitching. <laughs> oh, my God. He said I'm going to be twitching. YouTube started promoting live streams because of Twitch. 23 and 1 does the live chat too. <laughs> oh my god. There's a new iPhone exclusive site TikTokers are use, are switching to too. What is that? Poor Sarah. I know, man. Now we got to do a Twitch. I feel so old when I go on that kind of stuff. I'd be like, he's <laughs> twitching. How do you join Twitch? I don't know yet, y'all. Just stay tuned. I have no idea. Twitch.com, I guess. I don't know. 30 minutes, Twitch up, brother. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. It's called Fanbase. Oh, I think I've heard of that. Shirley Fanbase. And something called Clapper or something. I don't know nothing about that. Why'd you from Dallas, Texas? Much love. What's up, Alex? This boy. But don't you need like the whole gamer headset situation and you game? Okay, so don't you, you don't twitch from the phone, right? You twitch from like the PC or oh, laptop? I ain't tell y'all, bro. I, I am verified. <laughs> y'all don't know where I got a blue check at? <laughs> oh, That's <yeah>. working, Ralph. <laughs> I have Sarah in that topless, okay? Yeah, so, hell you will. Topless, I'll call it the Baker's Topless Twitch Twitch channel. <laughs> you gonna be the only one showing your nipples on Twitch? You like to pull your nipples out on live. I never knew about this Twitch. I mean, I've heard of it, but I ain't heard of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Borrow RGs. You can stream from anything. You can't stream from my iPhone? <laughs> they said, no, you don't need no headphones. <laughs> I asked if you needed the headset. I, you I always see people there. <laughs> Oh my God. Let me send y'all an email. I got ideas. Pepperoni nips. <laughs> oh, not the pepperonis. Man. Right. Well, message me on Instagram, y'all. Ralph the Bigger 101. Come on, we're we coming up with something here. Yeah. Y'all, it's so funny to me. If I was dressed, I'd come across Ellen and say oh, hi. See what I'm saying? Oh. No, hell no. Y'all don't listen to Ralph with his lies. Shh. He probably would if I let him, but I ain't Anything happen. possible at the moment, bro. That is not happening, Ralph. You can. I don't give a damn. You go get you the the off. So, really? So, we need to be twitching here, bro. Oh All right. Gosh. Oh, I didn't tell you where I was verified, bro. I got the blue, big blue check and everything. Only on Amazon. Who knew you could be verified on there? Not me. 
So you, you know, not I'm like a loser. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, <laughs> no, you're if not. you're if you're a loser, <laughs> you're gonna get verified on on there because you, you're such a loser. Stop. We're gonna verify you just so you feel special and have a check, bro. <laughs> TikTok, nope. YouTube, nope. Instagram told me don't ever disrespect them like that. <laughs> okay, Facebook told me don't even try. All right, didn't even qualify to try. Okay, Snap a chat, forget about it. All right. They said we about to make this happen. <laughs> hey, we gotta make something happen. That's this is a good idea. DM said, I got you, bro. Let me talk to my babies in the morning. They gonna waste me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. <laughs> Snapchat. Oh, can you get verified on Snapchat? I, I bet you can. Not me. <laughs> I bet somebody can. I don't get more than three views on the story, bro. So I quit putting them up. They're like, good morning, my beautiful family. <laughs> That'd be like three looks. <laughs> Stop, nothing. Bro. I don't even know if people don't even like it. They don't say nothing, bro. They don't like it. Picture. They don't do nothing on this. So I'm like, bro, this. this. I said, bro. That's oh, why Snapchat sucks now, bro. Snapper chat. And then it Amazon is like, you know what? Oh, you Ralph the Baker? We're gonna we give you a check, you. bruh. We're gonna give you a check. And then I told everybody, hey y'all got exciting news. I got a I got my first blue check. And when I told everybody, they're like, wow, was it on Instagram, YouTube, what? Oh, it must have been TikTok. It's like, nah, it's actually on Amazon. <laughs> What's your 36 bucks? It was on Amazon, bruh. And then everybody looked at me like a big loser, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> it's like, oh really? You could get you really? Can, really you can get verified on it, huh? I saw yeah, I had a picture and all that, and I'm all proud and shit. And I, they looked at me like a loser, okay? <laughs> they like you you know, you just a loser. Right? <laughs> They're like, oh, so do you have one on, on Instagram? I'm like, nah, I'm working on that right now. YouTube, no. Nah. Oh, so you must have had one on TikTok. No. <laughs> I got tears about. Unfortunately not. This is the only one I got, bro. You make me a mess so, living. You know, y'all, hey. Sometimes you just gotta look like a loser in life. <laughs> I don't know. Jessica, <laughs> wait, how do you get on Twitch though? Real question. Do you have to pay? I know nothing about it. Jessica, we do not know Jessica, either. I would I, assume it's I ain't free. never been on a Twitch, but everybody's saying it's big. I'm about to be twitching in 30 minutes, y'all. I'll be there. It's quick lying. <laughs> Shit, lying. <laughs> Last thing I'm going lying. Shit, I'll be twitching tonight, boy. Twitching look, I'm a twitch from seven to seven, bro. We're gonna do 24 hour twitches. We're gonna do 82 hour twitches, bro. We're gonna twitch until we twitch so long our eyes is twitching because we can't step no more, bro. That's the kind of twitching we about to do. Y'all gonna be like, bro, I don't even want to see this dude no more. I'm tired of hearing this bullshit. Y'all see how I thought I had y'all on here for a freaking few minutes and been all this time, bro. 10 o'clock at night and shit. I'm thinking, damn, bro, the store closed at 8 50 now? Saturday time is 10. Jesus, man. So, yeah, now we've talked about the financial state. <laughs> we've talked about how I bragged to everybody and my family and, and friends that I finally got a blue verified. <laughs> and they looked at me like a loser when I told me it was on Amazon. <laughs> so I just quit telling everybody that. But I did tell y'all. But at least I told y'all, like, smooth. I didn't act all excited and shit. <sighs> like, I didn't pull out the picture and all that and be like, check this out. Y'all want to see something? Boom. <laughs> you know, this shit's stupid, bro. But... That's, that's Wait, the, the biggest streamer on Twitch has done a 24-hour stream and is dead ass asleep on stream. Wow. That is so creepy. People will watch you sleep. I mean, look, I'll try and go 24 hours, but we ain't sleeping, bro. We gotta stay up, bro. Ain't no sleeping. <laughs> Tell Ralph it's Twitch, not twerk. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph's eyes is starting to twitch. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just getting started, bro. Look at this coffee, bro. Drink, bro. <laughs> That's probably why the time went by on us like this. Because <laughs> we drank, drunk the crackhead coffee, huh? Yeah, we drank crackhead. We're going to be up to this. This stuff is like pure sugar. I'm ready to go see what Twitch is. Is it an app? Is, it, is this an app? Is this a website? What is this? Oh, I don't know. I would assume it's an app these days. Everything's a freaking app. Is Twitch an app, y'all? Twitch is where it's at. The scenes huh. make thousands in one stream. Huh. I'm just trying to make about a twenty dollar bill, and I'll be there for seven hours, bro. All that driving around, people do sleep on flies on TikTok. That's just weird, bro. He's had over one hundred and fifty thousand live viewers at once just watching him YouTube videos. 
what the crack egg <laughs> it is this is like it, this stuff will make you like they like do you like want you twitching they like do you want cream egg, you want cream and sugar and you're like yeah and that means you like ready to roll bro that means like when we go get dunkin we know we up on an all-night flight yeah we up we 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 up so we're good gonna need we, four melatonin to go to bed we found out about twitch so now we'll be up on twitch all night long it's an app it's an app okay i'm on this bro i'm on this this is probably what this is how everybody's surviving and not telling me. <laughs> they wasn't telling the baker. Oh, well, thank you. God, I'm going to mess up his name, her name so bad. I don't know if it's a him or her. Jericho? Did I say it right? Jericho Jones? Well, They're what? the one that, that told you to do Twitch. So I'm saying thank you. Oh, yeah. To yeah. Them. Well, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, bro. I don't know. You, you... Oh, I said it right. It's primarily Jericho. a website. The app is more so for viewers. Ah, uh, gotcha. Gotcha. So we got to get on the laptop. Got to get on the laptop. I got a $300 laptop. Very high tech. Very low quality. You need Duncan to sponsor you. I ain't getting no damn sponsors. Y'all just told y'all about the sponsors, <laughs> bro. If I, they'll sponsor, I can get them to sponsor me, but all they're going to give me is a free coffee, bro. <laughs> Tell you that right now. I guarantee it. You want to do Twitch because if you can't... If you can get signed as a Twitch partner, is steady monthly pay. How do you send a payment? PP, a payment for what? What you trying to send a payment for? I think Twitch is free. Yeah, I think Twitch is free. Twitch you can stream is... from phones, though. It's a website and an app. Facts. Okay. All right. All right. We're on Twitch now. We are on Twitch, bro. Definitely. Charlie's laughing. We on Twitch, bro. Y'all don't know what Man, this Twitch. We gonna be Twitch. God only knows what it could be. I'll be twitching eight hours a day. That's what you should, do. You have to like. Do you have a channel? Like you name a channel. I guess. Called <laughs> Twitching. <laughs> Man, fan base is life. also a good thing to do. What is I it? didn't break it. Damn, you break it. I did money. not break your lighter, bro. All right, y'all. Well, look, y'all find me on Twitch in thirty minutes. <laughs> I'll Don't be tell twitching. These people that. All right, I lie. ain't gonna say thirty minutes right now because I do need to go figure it out and see if I can set it up. Ralph will put up a post on oh, the community. I'll be on Twitch tomorrow. I'll be twitching tomorrow. Let us know, please, if you're <laughs> switching to twitching. I'm switching to twitching, baby. We're gonna be twitching all damn day. I mean, day maybe and night. I don't know. I mean, but how many people want to hear it? Do the people go on shit Twitch? Kills me. I mean, who goes on that? Do y'all go on there? These kids are going to kill y'all. Y'all let house. me know before I end this real quick. How many of y'all actually really go on that? For real. All right. So Jericho said it's basically YouTube live streaming, but it's just different website designed specifically for streaming. Like live streaming. Like that's what it is well, for. Why have we never been stream. on this, bro? Because we always thought it was a gamer app. Like we always thought it was just for gamers, for people to play their games live streaming. Wow. Yo, what's up? Just don't drive and stream on Twitch. Okay. A lot of platforms are shutting that down. I watch Twitch. I'll go to see y'all. We appreciate it. See, like, you get the comments before I do. I didn't get none of that. See, I ain't getting no comments. All right. I'll send you over two, uh, three dollars. Don't forget about me when you make it big on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get into it just to watch you guys. Thank oh, you, we'll have man. fun. I just got to figure that out, bro. I, 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 okay, so it blew up originally for gamers. But okay. then it just, I think, became a thing for live streams in general. I need to see. Can you get a blue check on Twitch? <laughs> so, wait. Hold on. When Okay, let me ask y'all this. Is there, when, I, when we sign up, is there oh, a way can. to sign up as a Twitch partner or is that something that they make you? Or do you have to apply for it before we make an account? How does that work? Tell me that. Tell me to scoop. Check YouTube. That's because your phone raggedy. I know that's right. You ain't lying. <laughs> oh, PP, for you guys, a payment for us? Like on here? Like on the, I don't know. Like there's a money thing in the chat if you're wanting to send like a like a oh. chat thingy. Um, other than that, yeah, I don't know. That would be it. Or you can get some off the website if you want. Yeah. Or you can just watch the ads and the videos and then you don't have to pay nothing. For <laughs> that real, it's Twitch an app. They said it is an app if you're going to be watching 
or you don't have to watch an app. It's a website as well. Oh, so they said it's basically it's based on how frequently you stream in viewership. So I guess if the no, better you say less, you get, bro. You say the hell less, bro. I'll be on there. Are there restrictions on Twitch? Like they don't want you to curse, they don't want you to drink, they don't want you to like say or do certain things besides driving. I see someone said that. We need to know all the scoop. Well, I mean, they can only tell us. Because we might go in there acting ignorant and we get shut down. Oh, they'd be like, Ralph was very successful for the three days he made it. And then the loser got kicked off. viral and your whole account gets banned. It's how I roll, bro. Oh, my God. That would be terrible. Okay. okay. What was that, Dan? It's basically like YouTube. Okay. Oh, Lord. Can you listen to music on Twitch, bro? That's what sucks about, kind of sucks about YouTube. So, didn't I tell you raggedy ass as I'm calling y'all? You can cuss all day though. Okay. Can you listen to music? That's the one number one the number one big thing about YouTube that kind of is like sucky. Well, Charisma said I just made your shrimp stew tonight. Shit was delicious. See, Thank you, bro. I'm telling you, you're welcome. That was a really freaking good recipe. Seriously, y'all. Tell me, I did tell him if he wants to do it through here, he can. Or, oh wait, you got a cash app. I don't know, I feel, I don't like doing that though. What's your cash app? Ralph the Baker. Oh, everything's Ralph the Baker. <laughs> yeah. But I just feel bad for like, for doing that. I'm not getting comments on mine. You getting comments on yours? No, I think everybody quit Oh, talking. okay, unless you're paid for licensing. I need an address to send you a payment. Oh no, PP, uh-uh, you ain't gotta do all that. You ain't gotta mail anything. Um, hey, Charisma, thank you. You can cuss all day. Now, gonna be twins, a Twitch drink and smoking token and joking. <laughs> hey, bro, you never What's know what we're gonna be it? doing. You never know what we're gonna be doing, bro. Oh, you gotta pay for oh, for music. Okay. So, like, you can't do music unless you pay for the licensing. That might mess. I don't know. You could do probably like non copyright music. So, Sarah's phone's chop out the frame. My boyfriend said he needs to buy me a shirt Ralph is wearing. Walmart! Walmart. Seven dollars, eighty eight cents. I tried to tell y'all, bro. Walmart. I like these shirts, man. But you gotta go, go to in Walmart. the men's section. Go in the men's section. Go to Walmart. It's like this little bitty square thing. They put them on. It's not like big. And they got all kind of cool shirts. I, I think they're cool. You get all kind of little shirts like yeah. these. Seven dollars, eighty eight cents. They're kind of cool. And then, like, if you get if you mess them up, you ain't really worried about it because, like, all right, it was $8. No big deal. Yeah. All right, y'all. Look, we have kept y'all on here many hours. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to go start my Twitch career tonight. All right? Leveling up. Moving in different directions. What is a spider? I could Twitch for eight hours a day, seven days a week. Bro, I could be, like, the number one Twitcher. I'll be like twitching every day. Okay, go twitch your ass in the house because the kids huh. are getting mad. They're yeah, going yeah. to they be All twitching. All right, y'all. Y'all be safe, man. Be blessed. Be careful out there. And uh, I'll see y'all on Twitter. <laughs> I don't know what the name's going to be. If I had to take an educated guess, I'm going to be Ralph the Bake on Twitch. Oh, Lord. We'll keep you guys posted on the community or on the other platforms. Community my ass. I'm going to do that right now. We ain't Bro, you more. ain't getting no more Duncans, Duncans after six no more. Come on. We got stuff to do. Oh my God, bye guys. <laughs>